Landlords Podcast. <laughs> All right. And we are live. Welcome to the Iron Lords Podcast, episode number 76. And it's another glorious Sunday, and we are back at the round table on the Lord's Day. I'm extremely excited about our special guest, so we're going to get right into it. I want to introduce a Lord who, in my opinion, has one of the most recognizable and iconic radio voices in the entire realm of gaming podcasts. Not only is this Lord a host of one of the best Xbox-centric platforms in the game, his knowledge and passion for gaming truly resonates, while still providing great entertainment with extremely high production values. Introducing the host of the Crossfire podcast and Mooch and Crap in the Mornings, the godfather to many of your favorite YouTubers, and despite any misunderstandings in the past, the Lord currently focused on the common thread that drives us all, our passion for video games. Mm -hmm. Fellow Destiny fan. Yes. Fellow New York City sports fan. Yes. Making his debut into the realm of the Lords. My man. Lord Mooch, how you doing, sir? Man, that is an intro that is, uh, it blows me away, man. Listen, to be here with you guys right now, I've been looking forward to this. And, and we've been talking about this offline for a minute. And to make this happen is, and I think your, your gift that you sent out yesterday, right? We're like, we are going to make these two realms come together. Facts. That's what we're here to do. We're here to talk about our passion. What drives us, the games we love, what brought mm. us to this in the first place. Mm. And we're going to bring both audiences together for the first time today on the Lord's Day. So it is an honor and a privilege to be here with every one of you guys. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate it. Much appreciated, man. Well said. Super hype, like Lord Mucci. Yes, sir. Long overdue treaty signed official. Yes. We're going to do this thing. We're going to have some fun. We're going to talk games, man, because that's what yeah, it's yeah. about. You already know. And of course, we have the force horsemen of gaming and those usual suspects at the round table. Mm. My co-host with the co-most, my brother from another mother, the difficult game conqueror, and the how of the young wolf. My man, Lord Addict, how you doing, sir? Doing pretty good. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, man. What you been playing, man? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like clockwork. I know exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> Pretty much um Destiny. That's that's about all. About Actually, it. I've been playing Wolfenstein. I played South Park. I beat it this week. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I see you talking about beast, it. Man, like every time I see Addy, he's playing something different. <laughs> he's that's the difficult game <laughs> conqueror. Man <laughs> beats everything. <laughs> no, on the real, South Park is not an easy game. Like mm, no. that easy. At the very end, man, I was like, man, like I beat it on my first try, but I was like, I can't believe that just went down. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Difficult game conquer in the building. Another one notched up. And of course, we have our most technical gaming lord, the solo gamer who lives for the single player selfish experience and also the Sostradamus. Mr. Offline Profile Illuminati and Lord Patreon of the Iron Bank. My man. Lord Sovereign, how you doing, sir? Doing good, man. Doing fantastic. I just have a question yeah. for you, yes. Tornado. What is the question? <laughs> do, 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 do you have these intros written down? Because <laughs> I, I don't know. know. By I'm this time, they're memorized. They're memorized. memorized. I right do now. have them written down, but actually, I just do them off the top. I don't even have to look at them. Is <laughs> 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 yeah. it too professional? There you go. That's no, right. No, no, no. That's his OCD. He's not playing. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> you guys will see behind behind the background what goes on in making those thumbnails, man. It's like two or three being made for everyone. <laughs> I'm particular. I like you know things. That's, that's right. right. That's a nice he way to put it. Play. I'm particular. That's a nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afflicted <laughs> with OCD. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a better the, term if I don't see the Lord's in five minutes before the show, I'm, I'm particular. Yo, let, me, let me tell you something. I I am so, I'm always I'm so in happy that you are. I got a call. Wait a minute. Where you at? Nah, I, I know he put the text in the chat. Yo, it's everybody. He's really talking to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, son, uh, what you been playing this week, man? I know you, you, you've been uh, chastising me to, to throw that in in this segment. So I've been oh, following. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing Destiny. 
I got, right. I got my blues. I wait, got wait my were blues. you online? I was online. King can vouch for me. I, King, I, I, I didn't want to confirm. Get, I wanted oh, to get over. Listen, listen, listen. Let, 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 me, let me explain. When I get to my fraud report, y'all going to hear it all. All right? Because we got a lot of guys out here lording the fraud. So <laughs> when I, I get to, to my fraud report. Though. Let me elaborate on my yes, death. please. All right, so I got my blues, right? And my, okay. my solstice of heroes, right? Mm -hmm. I gotta say. Did you hear the fraud I, in him? He <laughs> said slostice of heroes. <laughs> he said slostice. I'm you just letting y'all hear, don't let I it slide solstice out, man. Don't let it slide out. Okay. Oh, I want y'all to rewind the videotape. Oh, you're gonna hate me right now, though. You're gonna hate me right now. All right, what's going on? What's going on right there? I love y'all, mm -hmm. but y'all are stupid. Like, you're, uh -oh. right, you're all stupid. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, you stupid. continue to allow yourselves to be bamboozled by this game. Oh, and, <laughs> I can't. I can't go there with you guys. I you think I'm do it. Out. I'm you're not ready for four Listen, you. man. I did my greens, and thank mm -hmm. you to King. Thank you to uh, Hot Look. Monkey. Thank oh, you to shout everybody out who Monkey. helped me. Mm -hmm. So when I get there, I get my blues, and I look at what I have to do. <laughs> And I'm like, you see, this this is why. This, see, this is why that grind. This, see, I, 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 I think the blue ones are easier grind. to do than the green ones. But it's not the point. It's the point that making you do but, the same stuff over and over again. Why, why, why do I need same. to be gall? What are you like, talking about? Why do I need to be gall like four or five oh, times? He's, <laughs> he's, talking about, he's, talking about, he's talking about the redux missions. Oh, I do agree with him. Yeah, that's why. The redux is a little much. I got to give some. It is. Oh, come on. Man, I'm like, really? So, question once I finish the blues, right? Yes, yes. do I have to do the same thing no. over again for purples? Or purples no. is, the, is nope. the end? You don't have yeah, to purple, do the no anymore. purples is something different. Yeah, they're different. They're different. The purples is the, like, it, it's from the big boys in Destiny. Yeah, yeah, purple is real. Like, you and purple requires you to play with friends. So, oh. now, question, question about you. this. Now, is there is there a thing for Forsaken where, like, if you haven't caught up, you know, you just, you know, yes, they button. usually do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, don't, didn't they do it for Tank King? See, they like, did that for Tank King, right? They gave the token or something like that. Right, they, they gave you the token up. to up with. I'm with you, Sav. I'm with you because here's the thing. I said the same thing. I'm stuck on the blues right now, right? And that's not because I'm stuck. I can't do it. I'm stuck because of time, and I'm yeah. running out of time. But what is it? Twenty eighth is done, right? Twenty eighth, right? Twenty eighth done. But listen, Cognito and Attic just they set me straight in the pre-show. Okay, they told me that once we get, they said, they said once you get the purple, we have the rest of the time before Forsaken to finish that up to get to four. Yes, yes. So we're good. You good. good. Once you I'm get stuck the in the blues, yeah, you're fine, Sob. You ain't got to wait. Sob, I know what I know. What we're doing tonight. <laughs> no, and then you guys make me feel <laughs> bad for not being in there. I'm like, are you kidding me? I have to do this stuff again. Like, oh my god, I'm not used to being able to talk about destiny this openly. <laughs> we usually got to meet like at some kind of corner and talk about it. Yeah, whispers. I hate they kill you. Know, you. Oh my god, I hate you mean that. You mean to Crap tell me that you have like that section where they leave you a note? Here's where our hangout is today. That's what it is. I'm swear to God. <laughs> There's no way. Listen, Crossfire does not. There's just not a Destiny <laughs> crew well, there. Xbox, Xbox, yes. Okay. Xbox okay. is well. He's. You see him. You guys. It's one, I know a couple of you guys are in our Destiny thread. He keeps adding. It's like half, half yeah. the communities in that thread right now. But like, he's yeah. got he's every like, game. He's out of control. I had to jump got, out of that Discord. He's got the master work for a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Who does that? We Xbox. Do. I do. do. He's I got do, it all, I man. Do. So it is. It, I, I can't keep. I just can't no, compete with him. No but, doubt. But to be honest with you, mm. this is Destiny Two. You know, for a lot of people, they don't get it. And, I, and I'm not talking anybody into the game, right? But and I, I think you lords <laughs> will understand what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. But realistically, what that game is is mm -hmm. the community the game. It's the community. That's what it is. Yeah. Because we all step right. away, and yes. then we all come back. Yes, well, and that's the thing for you to do that. You could step away and stuff. We get called frauds weekly if we don't play this. Dead. Nobody's playing Destiny. And 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 no, that was not a month ago. We're gonna stop fraud and law. Yeah, I, right I, I got you. I got you. I got you. That's a month and, ago. Uh, and I remember course. shows where we said Destiny's probably dead. <laughs> yeah, well, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. and we got you back. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's finish this up, man. And of course, we have the incredible Hulk of this, aka the Excess Gamer. Ooh. The Lord of Combat Sports, who is a man of his convictions, demands nothing less than that premium experience, and is the leader of the fraud alert movement. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh. Beloved. Lord King, how you doing, sir? 
Oh, we are doing fantastic. We got a lot of dudes out here lording and frauding. <laughs> and let's get to this fraud report. Uh -oh. oh, man. So, le so, so let's check this out. You know, uh, I, I, I want to give a hard shout out to all the lords lording and frauding, jumping in my parties. Like, yo, King, uh, what's going on with uh, this destiny, the solstice? Uh, what what day is it? Uh, 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 over, uh, uh, what you doing? Uh, 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 I'm... And I'm like, okay, and you know, you see them get on, and I, I'm, I can't lie, a lot of these guys only play at a certain time, and a lot of these guys, like, I can't really get on Lord Attic too much because he's streaming throughout the week. He's uh, he's the leader and part of the the stream team, you know, and so he has to do a lot of content on different games. So if he does jump in a party on a Saturday and he is rocking a green or a blue, I look at him with the snide eye, but I'll send Monkey, <laughs> yo, handle him, you know, take him through. Monkey knows, um the rigmarole of the stuff to get it done. Yeah, yeah, I used that. I said I was. Rigmarole, you got it. Um, <laughs> then you got, you know, Lord Sovereign, he jumped Lord, Lord Fraud. But I, I, the reason why I can call him Lord Fraud because I understand how he games. But also, remember this, he truly games multi-platform, so he will be on uh, PlayStation. Yeah, play yourself, you can like, yeah complete in games. Once Spider-Man is in, and, and two murder in my yeah, hands, you're not going to see me. Y'all going to lose yeah. me. I, I, I'm telling you we right don't now. Care. <laughs> Listen, we don't care. We don't care. We understand you're a fraud. It's cool. Uh, then we have uh, Lord, Lord, Lord Brap. <laughs> Brap, I got you. The I, you listen, Brap, I catch you frauding all the time. You jump in, boy, but you you put in your hours. And you, yo, I'm going to knock this out, King. Yo, King, yo, King, we're going to get this done, King. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All my stuff is purple. All characters is masterworks. Everything is done. Uh... We have a lot of people in the clan. Listen, this is, this is some true facts, all right? We have a lot of people in the clan that are getting messages and are getting invites and they're not joining and not trying to figure out what's going on with other clan members to see what it needs to be done, all right? And and this fraud report isn't just for Destiny. Y'all guys, mm -hmm. I got some other stuff for you in a second. But if somebody sends you an invite, I would just want you to look and see if he's in your uh, your clan. And if he's in your clan, even if you you, you can't do something, just check check in there, see what's up, yo. What y'all need? What's Thanks. up? What's going on? Because I want to I want to interrupt you for a quick second, only because ahead, yeah. uh, Lord Lord Dizzy, I want to shout him out and the um those guys that came over, man, really much appreciated. The whole crew, Reaper, Frodo's already been down, Zero's yeah. already been down. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But to, to, mm -hmm. to see them get together, he told me like, yo, Cog, like Rose, you know, his wife, wifey, you know, people were coming and messaging her, hey, you need help with this and stuff like that. So he's like, I want to salute. Yep. So we, I want to shout out the, the ones that are doing it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, definitely, you know, because just because yeah. I tell you, I'm telling them actively, we go through the list, we checking your clothes through the list we looking at the raid report throughout the list we i like see lord what's he got a chance to run with the a team he actually sees how the a team moves so when we go on we taking we sherpering people through raids these are people that's never done raids shout out to destiny for putting that in the game that yes. you're able to pick mm -hmm. people up that have absolutely no skill in, in raids <laughs> and you can take them and show them how to do raids and that's how we're adding people to the clan because a lot of these people are highly skilled to do these raids but they don't have a clan i told you before if you're actively playing and you have to look around for friends come to us don't worry about it we'll take you i don't want these people that just want the whisper like yeah, uh shout the out to buddha time bounce out yeah yeah shout out to buddha time captain fraud um <laughs> got him <laughs> gotta 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 call you out for frauding on that captain buddha time uh <laughs> i think your man is yeah, yeah, I, I think, I think your buddy Buddha Time is gonna get kicked out the clan if he's oh. not an active member. All right, oh so God. All right. Buddha Time, he's a good yeah, guy. Nah, yo, listen, Buddha, I love you, I love you, Buddha, but you're frauding. Um, <laughs> yo, you Sony dudes. Mm -hmm. I, I'm listen. I know I fraud when it comes to Xbox stuff. When y'all told me the Kraken didn't have a body, I had to own up to my fraud. Right? <laughs> that's Spider Man, though. Yo, J Dubs. Oh, we J -Dubs. Uh -oh. That's, we, we, that's... we will talk about it later. Uh oh. Let's see. No, no, okay, okay, no, no. Oh, I gotta call this fraud out because oh, they was God. all over my Twitter line. <laughs> Listen, y'all was on my Twitter line at least yesterday for 10 hours talking about the same thing, frauding about how Microsoft got the services and all this other stuff, and then y'all going in on Spider-Man. Listen, that pictures are not the same. Sony's out here frauding. But to, for you not to own up to your fraud and for you to hide back in the 
what he is on, and I got the pictures and the facts. I saw you. You are fraud and calling you out, J Dubs. Oh fraud. Shut up. And, Shut up. And Right. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's my dude. He knows he's my dude. But Def, Yo, you're Cat fraud Daddy dude. said you are your we go. We off. Row recruitment IOP mode. <laughs> Yo, he knows that. Get down and lay down. You know that. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, and that's the end of the fraud report. Woo! Let's go. Right. Fraud report <laughs> has ended. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have the game ninja himself, the Shinobi Lord Cognito, spreading that realness in the realm of the ILP. Not telling you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. For me, it's been pretty much the same. Everybody, the rest of the Lords, Destiny 2, you know, most already know. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, Phantom Doctrine just released. It's a XCOM style game. If you guys are big fans of XCOM, please, XCOM, please check it out. Have it up on the Iron Lord Podcast YouTube channel. A little walkthrough. It's kind of like a mix of XCOM, but with spy and espionage mechanics. Really cool. Cool, really fun. Shout out to those guys over there at uh, Cold Fusion Games and Creative Forge Games and uh, Good Shepherd Entertainment. Definitely like what they was doing over there. And of course, Lord Saw Ryo, the legend, Shinmu Return. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so I had to throw that on and be reminded of why I don't like tank controls. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. You know that game in the bushes. It, it's a funny thing. <laughs> I've said oh. this in the past. Nostalgia is oh. a funny thing. It's a, very, it's a treacherous thing. Graphically, I'm okay. I'm okay. The loading, the loading is fantastic. Because I remember on the Dreamcast, I don't know much if you had Shenmue. <laughs> listen, uh, listen, your boy Mooch is in the works right now. Mooch and Shenmue one and two. <laughs> Try my damnedest. It's you hard gotta, when you got to go back. And let me tell you something. Whoever's just saying that, I think it was Saab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Yeah, all right, you do right. realize this, yeah, right? Because we say. all take that drug every single time these old <laughs> games come around. Listen, we've all been there, right? Since the beginning of NES days, maybe before, maybe you guys don't want to admit it, but you were there when Coleco was around. The thing yes. about it is this, okay? Yes. We played those games, we had those memories, we had that that feeling we had with those games, that connection. But you got to admit, and this is a me problem, probably, but realistically. <laughs> Here's my issue. The minute I pop these games back on, I realize that that memory was better when <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I had a hard time with it's this. It's better left in the bushes. Yes, leave that memory behind. <laughs> Look, you don't want to relive that eight-year-old birthday. <laughs> Listen, let it be. You're, you're, you're not lying. You, there, you. There's a lot of accuracy yes. to what you say. And you do remember <laughs> hey, I how much things I did. Uh, Attic said so. Attic told you so. Attic did tell me so. But I'm still having fun. My only thing is I just don't like the control. I just wish they had an updated control scheme because yeah. he still moves yeah. around like a tank. And just to yeah. look at an item or a cabinet in a room yeah. is really frustrating. It shouldn't be. I shouldn't have to do a it's code they didn't to open a draw. The controller scheme. Usually that's the one thing they always do. Yeah. Again, maybe I haven't found it. I got to mess around with the maze a little bit. But I will say, because again, coming from the Dreamcast, Lord King remembers, lo going between a door and an outside area with the loading would be atrocious. Yeah. Y'all remember. So the loading is fantastic. So it really makes things zippy and smooth. And my thing is right off the bat, bass off, had to put the Jap Japanese dub on, bro. I had to oh, put yeah. the, <laughs> that English voiceover is ooh, horrible. Ooh, horrible. Yeah, no disrespect. I put Japanese dub with the text, so it felt like a true kung fu flick. 1970. That's what I needed. <laughs> the thing about it, the thing about it is, like, it, at the beginning God, of the game, like, it's only, a, it's only like Tell his them, father gets murdered. Weirdos. His father gets murdered, and like yeah. two days later, they're all right. They're all walking around. They're like, walking around. Like, <laughs> it's like nothing happened. It's like I know, no, no. I know. Let's get into it, man. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> so now that the Lord's kind of got into what we've already been playing this week, I want to start off with Lord Mooch, his video game system history, mm -hmm. and of course what led him to become one of the early pioneers, and I call him the Godfather, one of the Godfathers of the Xbox YouTube movement. So Lord Mooch, let's start from the very beginning with some OG gaming talk. Yes. What were some of the first video game systems you had and what got you in the game so realistic so you show your age here but i'll pretend that i bought them after the fact but right <laughs> it was the whole like coleco that coleco thing you you're, oh, that's that's dating ourselves all right that's my heart you right know? there that's my first system getting into that zaxon playing mm -hmm. we thought what we thought was the arcade in our living room back in the day and you didn't realize <laughs> that the arcade was on the way with that nes Right? So listen, a lot of people don't really realize this about me. They think just because I'm an Xbox guy that I don't listen, I grew up on JRPGs. I grew up with the way that the NES I, listen, I know I'm and I, I think I'm in good company here, but a lot of people that are Xbox yeah. fans are all Sega, right? They're all Sega. Yep. I was yep. NES all day and Ooh. I went to war. Oh, you were at Nintendo. Yes. You went, you went to war. Yes. I did Genesis my due diligence. Does. 
Oh, right. Here it is. There it is. I knew oh, someone was going to start coming at me with that propaganda. Uh, right? Uh, boy was. But listen, uh, that's what it is. Blast the processing. Let's go. You know? And, and listen, I've said this all along, and we, I want to get back to your question, too, Cognito. So I'm not going to venture off that beat. But, no, you know, it. console wars is healthy if it's done properly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. It's been going on since before any of us even picked up a controller. Console wars low-key help push competition that's correct Absolutely. thank you that's what i'm saying Attic. that's that's the whole thing i've been trying to to push through it's like listen if we do it in in, in the right manner right and we all kind of and we've all kind of gone through these motions over the past four or five years it is good for the business and you know that mm -hmm. phil and yoshida are sitting there with big grins when we go back and forth they're like look at these fools buying both of them <laughs> yep look at them buying everything so we're doing there, but, but getting back to the subject though, let's, I was a Nintendo guy. I was hardcore on that. I loved, love, love like the Legend of Zelda. I love, love, love Final Fantasy. Listen, there was a reason I was tweeting earlier this morning about getting on that Octopath Traveler. Okay, Ooh. that's bringing oh, back yeah. memories, right? So realistically speaking, I've been gaming since man before I'm even wanting to talk about. It. I've been gaming for a long time, but. Uh, realistically, you know, with time, things changed. And yes. I got into the world of, like, you saw the Halo and the first-person shooter. And I think that's why I have a hard time sometimes going back, going back. and living in mm -hmm. those Shenmue days or going far enough back to say, like, I can't mm -hmm. wait to get back into Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. I want to see it. Mm -hmm. I might want to experience it, but I don't know if I want to get lost in it again. You Good know point. I mean? Let me ask you a question. So yeah. I'm at Lomo. So you are more of a fan of a remake than a remaster. So you like yes. say for example, if it's a classic game that you like, you rather than build it up with today's assets, yes, and, and, and more of a modern feel than actually just porting up and you know a resolution of the same kind of a game, kind of like what Shenmue kind of have done right now. Yeah, exactly. Like so, Shenmue's got like right. Shenmue has brought the 4K, maybe some 4K, or they're trying their best to get to that that mm -hmm. image texture, right? Yeah, they, they cleaned they're up some of yeah, the 1080p. They, they clean. They're trying. They're, getting, <laughs> they're, 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 they're cleaning the lines up a little bit. They're making the UI a little bit more crisp, so it's not yes. that faded etch look. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But realistically, it's really just a paint job. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, realistically, what I like to see is I like to see what they did now. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe like Crash Bandicoot, mm. right? That was built, that was rebuilt mm -hmm. from the ground up, I believe. I believe. Yeah, but it was still the same thing. It is. It's not like this Resident Evil that's coming out, Resident Evil 2. That, that's, that is really a good looking, different a take on it, you know? So, you know what it is? That's yeah. where they're using a whole new engine, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're using the bio biohazard engine on that, the Resident Evil Seven all they, engine. All they yeah. see stuff like that is just a quick bug. They they put it has a, a low output, and you you know go out there as to how much was Shimmy? Um, it's thirty dollars. Thirty? Yeah, thirty dollars for two, for, for two games. games. For two, you get yeah. one engine. Even even if you know the games don't play any different from fifteen years ago, right? Uh, I think thirty dollars is fair for two games. Yeah. I think that's I, a fair price. Would I ever buy it? No, no, it's not for you. It is. I mean, it it, is. it's not it, calling it, you. To, to be honest with you, Shimu Three looking pretty spooky too. Yeah, yo, yo, yo yeah. I'm throwing that straight in the bushes. I'm not, I'm yeah. not walking next to that at all. That, that's you, someone did a I'm side good. by side, not to interrupt, but someone did a side by side and low key solve and move like the part one land D face render. Yeah. Better than the three. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, Yo. what's going on? But back to Vooch. I, I, I know what you said, Vooch, about the nostalgia. <laughs> I got you. I don't, I want to pull you back just a bit because I know you said click on all that good stuff. I know yeah. you was a Nintendo. Give me those Nintendo systems. What's the kind of your order chronologically of what you had from a console standpoint? Well, that's it went right up that 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 chain. So you're talking mm -hmm. about so we went from Coleco to NES, SNES, Genesis, okay, GameCube. Mm. Then we went, and I even got the game gear. I even got the small portable. Wow, it's it's, it's sitting. Me. Listen, I'll snap a picture if I have to. It's sitting right in front of me. I actually have it on the wall. Listen, yes. I have, yes. Like, I, I got into every single, you know, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation mm -hmm. 3. Had those all the way up to the current day. I've been playing on everything, but just like everything in life, right? I know everybody on this panel probably had a Ford. You've had a Chevy. You've had a this. But when mm -hmm. someone says to you, what's your favorite? You got one. Yes. Yeah, and realistically, per generation, and it's been this while away for a while, you know, mm -hmm. and it even took me a while. And a lot of people, I've said this on different shows. I've said it on my own show mm -hmm. is that I hung real with, I was with PlayStation 2 even when the OG Xbox came out. Like, I was still PlayStation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. You know, and it took me a minute to come over. I didn't see that and just fall in love with it. A lot of people are like, oh, I just saw it and I fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. It takes Mooch a while to come <laughs> around, all right? I don't always just come around. So I finally got into the Xbox vibe when I saw what they were doing with first person sh shooters and changed that. But getting back to the past, because there's a couple people in the chat that are like, Mooch, tell us a little bit about. Like, I really did get into the JRPGs nice. and we made it a family thing, right? That was our thing when we were, ki when we were kids, mm -hmm. right? We were, my, my dad was into gaming. So he oh, was, he, so it was, yes, right. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing we try to do now with the family. We try to d genuinely get together. We do, we, that, that's why I think it's important to have all the, if you can, if I always say this, if it's mm -hmm. within your financial means, mm -hmm. you should have all the consoles because why deprive the kids? Yes. Let them try yep. and let them find their own Preach. path, right? Preach. So we didn't have, these are the Except things we didn't switch. have. <laughs> I, oh my God. Switch. Now, come on, don't leave. <laughs> I just told you I'm dying. I'm die hard and I really am deep down inside my youth. No, I, just, right? I, just, I just did that Poke Cognito. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, he knows yeah, he, he's he's going at Sovereign and Cognito right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a switch. <laughs> but you know, the, the, the kids, and it's funny though, right? When we were all growing up, we didn't have that opportunity because I, even though I had all those, it wasn't like I was privileged to get them all day one. I'm talking about these are spread over years before mm -hmm. I got them. I didn't get Genesis for a while. After the mm. SNES, I mean, I'm talking about years, not mm. months, not weeks. Like, look at all of us now. We're like, maybe I will go get the PS5 after I get the Xbox Two. But mm -hmm. that's a privilege we have nowadays. How things that's are set crazy. up. And we're gonna get it. We're gonna get into Xbox All Access. Uh, I know oh, yeah, we're gonna no talk way. about this today, and that's a that's a huge selling point we should talk about. But, Absolutely. You know, like we had to appreciate. Look at look at the game Ghosts and Goblins. Mm. Oh, bro. We weren't allowed <laughs> to curse in the house, but I wanted to. <laughs> right that game right there right i would i played that till my fingers bled okay super ghosts and goblins Woo, all did these you things. have did you have the super graphics one because i had the, i had turbo graphics i had turbo duo and super graphics and yeah, super, super graphics, graphics was all games. Games. Yeah, i did not have that yeah mm -hmm. it was kind of hard to get super, super graphics yeah, I remember I had to go to you know Little Bit Street Canal oh, yeah, to that, go that, get my systems. Yeah, yeah that imports. system was five hundred dollars, but yeah, I got we it. had the spots downtown. Yeah. We used to get the imports like one year ahead of U.S. release, so we would yeah. get the things out. We had to mess around with the UI and figure what the hell we were doing. <laughs> and I yeah, believe with PlayStation, the X and the circle button were reversed for the Japanese. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And don't tell me that's not bothering you guys. Famicom. Don't mm -hmm. tell me that's not bothering you guys too with the Switch. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, how how dare best. they make the B button, the A button? Yes. Push it, out. <laughs> it mentally messes who with me. Yeah. Approve that. Um, <laughs> right? I said, who approved that? Who you know how many mistakes I've made on the menu screen alone? Yes. No, listen, but realistically, <laughs> like getting back to it, like it, they don't realize. Li mm -hmm. Listen, everybody on this panel, thank God, I feel like I'm at home. People love Destiny, right? So, mm -hmm. Destiny, you know, you get so far. And maybe you're trying to do something on your own. You're doing the, 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 the nightfall or something. Mm -hmm. You die and you're like, please, God, don't let it go all the way back. Yes. Right? <laughs> back, please. <laughs> right? You know, even if you're not holy, you are praying to something. The minute you die and that fade, the light goes out. So I'm like, all right, listen, thank God they only brought me halfway back. Whatever. My point is when we were kids, everybody on this panel knows this. When we were kids, mm -hmm. they don't know. These people today, they don't know what difficulty is. Yes. You Talk had three me. lives. Yes. Three. You had to beat that game in one sitting. It was one amazing. sitting. It was <laughs> to me, that was no difficult game night. conquering at it. <laughs> that Remember when your friends, your, your friends would ring the doorbell like, we're playing basketball. I was like, not today. Yeah. I got one life left and two hours to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we'll do this tomorrow. Like, that's the way life was. You had to, like, you paused the game, you ate, you came back, and yes. you were focused. Yes. Focused. Yeah. And, and, right? No, I'm still with you I'm, right now. You know what I'm saying? When you got to one focused. up back then. You got to one up that. That's when you was like, yes, oh, my God. I can die at least. <laughs> well, I used to jump after that mushroom. Remember that mushroom used to pop up for the one up? I jumped on that like a football on the one-yard line. Or when you used to have to like turn the TV off and change the channel to let your parents think so that your parents you don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, my mom's would come home working on a Saturday. She said, You weren't playing video games, were you? And I was like, I had to quickly switch that A B switch. Yeah. People don't even know what the A B switch is. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yo, and if you don't, don't worry about it. But Ooh, realistically, converted on channel three to channel four. Oh, yes. don't get me started. Don't get the me started. RF, the RF right. switch in the back. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> Difficulty. Uh, Listen, the great thing. I, go ahead. Listen. The great thing. Uh oh, here it comes. The RF switch. It wasn't gray. 
it was. It we were talking about the little box. Yes. It, it had RF really? switch and you click it. Hey, you, see, listen, hey, what hey, these guys don't know is you hey. needed utensils and tools to get in the back of your TV to <laughs> yeah, hook you this thing up. And listen, you could you you could have shocked yourself. You could have electrocuted yourself. You really didn't care. You <laughs> so needed a, a scissors. Yes. Uh, if you didn't have scissors, you needed a butter knife. You got back there. You screwed it in. And always, those wires broke so yep. you had to take the 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 the, the copper wire and wrap it around <laughs> the, <laughs> the screw and make sure it stayed inside listen y'all like, got it good now hdmi in or we wi-fi there's another reason everybody on this panel doesn't mind is do you remember the whole talk about xbox getting rid of the power brick and people were upset mm -hmm. about it i used to say why are we so worried about that power brick it's yeah. a one time and done do you remember that coleco and sega power block that we plugged into the wall what? it had the little <laughs> screw in the bottom so it could yeah. actually stay there it yeah. was so heavy it would fall out yeah. that was hard times Somebody get the screwdriver. I want to play some Nintendo. What? Yo, this guy loves you right now, Moon Viper. I'm telling you, it's the truth. We boss, know this. Oh, stop it, boss. Would you young? Shout out to 480p. Yo, they, <laughs> they better hit those likes. They better hit those likes. Hit you like, got 67 yeah. people Saucy. watching. Yo, yes. Said we used to need them, those players to turn on our old tube TV. That's what we had the big yes. bass. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, that, was like that dial it, fell off. Yo. We were, it, it was so terrible. Those TVs were so heavy that we had a floor model, but we had a TV on top of the floor model. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If floor the TV model died, it just it stayed furniture. there. Yeah. <laughs> you had to dust the television. It was furniture. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me bring you back one quick second. You actually said something, one of our first guests, you know, first person, what you really said. You mentioned the Game Gear, right? And I want to talk about, we don't get a chance to really mention portables, right? Like, how big were portables back then? Because I know for me, Game Gear was big. I know the battery life was a little, little yeah. rough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Game, that was the age of Game Boy. And I got to admit, man, sadly, I was an Atari Lynx fan. Remember Atari oh, Lynx? Oh, yeah. 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 Guys, yeah. I haven't played any handheld that Sony or Microsoft has made. <laughs> no. Mike's, no, no. Mike's not. Mike, Sony uh, came later. Sony came later. Sony Microsoft and Nintendo. Didn't mess I mean, around. Sony and Nintendo. I, oh. I don't know where all the lords are living right now. I know a couple of you cats are definitely on the East Coast for yeah, sure. We're all, okay? yeah. we're all East Coast. Okay, so you guys will get this, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I got the Switch. And even with the portability things, like we were talking about Game Gear, or you're talking about Game Boy, realistically, mm -hmm. if you weren't going on a family trip, which is rare, yeah. that, that portability went from sitting on the floor in front of that furniture console yeah. we used to have to yeah. sitting on the couch. Yes. That's all yep. it meant was now I can yeah. sit on the couch and play the game. Because before yeah. I had to sit yep. in, style in front of the television set. That is true. That and was traveling. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I traveled to the couch. So that is right? true. We take that for granted too now that these controllers reach our couch. That wasn't the way it was back oh, in the day. Oh, bro. Okay. Cataracts is real. So, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, when you see all these like these gaming media sites that are on the West Coast and they're like, I took my Switch up to the roof. I took my Switch over. I'm like, we don't do that over here on the East Coast. I Wait, never boot. took my Switch to go get a sandwich. <laughs> boot, you mean what? to say that the Switch commercial wasn't realistic to you? No. That you were at the rooftop party with Switch. That was ridiculous, was No, man, we don't do ridiculous. rooftop parties in New York because our rooftops are 75,000 stories high. <laughs> People you gotta sign, <laughs> right? They gotta sign a war or some kind of thing so they don't sue you when you're on top of a roof in New York. We don't do that here. We well, don't do that of, here. The well, majority of roofs around these kind of areas they aren't even built to be on. <laughs> They're the not. Now that's only if it's a uh, this this is an emergency that you're supposed to touch that roof. Other than <laughs> that, it's against the law in New York. Who's City. hanging out on a single roof in New York? <laughs> well, see, no, get out of here. I, I, I'm from Arizona. Get, 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 I've get, seen get, it a lot in Arizona. <laughs> like they built their roofs to do shit like that <laughs> you're not listen they don't, have, they don't have snow and stuff they don't have to well, work you know what it is and maybe you make a good point there because i think what it is is that here in new york I, and i'm not gonna speak for every household it depends on your water table level but like we have basements people talk about man caves i think out there they don't have basements maybe that is like useful square footage and i know my friends <laughs> visit, right well it's nice out there right it's not nice over it's snow <laughs> He said when the realtor showing you the house and look right? at the roof. And let's go to the roof. They the say that. The footage of you, the roof is incredible. You know when they do those Vegas shows on HGTV and they show you California. They're like, now we're going to go up to the roof. And I'm like, the roof? Oh, dead. <laughs> they got a barbecue up there. 
Yo, I I'm am dead, dead right now. We All don't I think do about that. Is switch commercials and people on the basketball court with their switches. <laughs> oh my god, the unrealisticness is, is hilarious. But I will say, I I am the guy in the switch commercial that does it on the plane. Like I'm that guy. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I've done it. I've done that. To be honest with you, I tried to, to play the switch when I went to LA and mm-hmm. when I went to uh, um, PAX. Mm-hmm. I can't like I'm uneasy when I'm on a plane, so I can't like. Mm-hmm. Focus on a switch. I have to go to sleep. Like I have to. Well, here's what I want to ask Cognito though. If you were using it on the plane, explain this to me because I've done it too. Tell the audience about the looks you get from the people sitting across the hall. Like, is that a grown man playing the video game? Like, yes, it is. It's a grown man doing it. I'm very listen. I want to turn around to them and say, is that a grown man sitting doing a crossword puzzle? Exactly. Listen, I ain't a small dude. Right? Well, then maybe they're looking at you like that. Then they're like, I don't I'll mess be the with him. First mm-hmm. to look at you and then be like, oh, you want to see what this is? Because clearly you're interested in the way you look at it. Yes, right? I, I, I'm, I'm well past that stigma that children play uh, video games and adults shouldn't because mm-hmm. I never saw a child go inside a store and pull out his credit card and Thank purchase you. a system for $500. So it's not made for them, to be honest. Let's keep it 100%. Yeah, you know, some it, kids yeah. are, are fortunate to have parents that really care to buy them these systems. Well, yeah, it's really made the only thing I gotta give more, 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 though, is with the switch. Like I try, <laughs> I try to use the joy because I don't like to use the joy cons. That feel a little, you know, like you got. Oh, of course little, it does. When you, when you pop those joy cons out, that's when your freak come out. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you feel like you in the club, you got the glow sticks and stuff like that. Nah, I'm good on that part. <laughs> that's another thing that's misadvertising with those roof parties. People be like, let me get that joy con next. No one's saying that. I want the pro <laughs> controller. <laughs> I don't want that little junior mint in my hand. (laughs) It's ridiculous. Junior mint. Right? Look at the, you see those things? They're like little tic tacs for the A B button. (laughs) Hey, 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 Mooch, Mooch, it's okay. They 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 give you protection for it. (laughs) Yes, they do. Yes, they do. This is true. (laughs) But anyway, so we got that going. So now, as like I said, both of us know, let's talk about just Xbox specifically, because you did say PlayStation. You know that you, you everybody everyone had that PS2. It was just dominant. It was the rain. Xbox kind of comes out as the new kid on the block. You know we we're a little skeptical. You know a lot of us, but so Lord was like, what kind of got you into the eco ecosystem? Like what made you say, okay, mm-hmm. this is what I'm talking about, and really kind of galvanized you as far as one of your favorite brands. It was Fable, wasn't it? Don't lie. <laughs> no, definitely not. So you're talking about over, over the course of uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we go. I'm talking about Moose, like going through your console history. And like yeah, you, said, yeah. you said, you had the PlayStation Two, and then the original OG mm. comes out. You know, you were kind of on the fence because you said Mooch doesn't just run out and get everything. No, nope. you pressed. No. Nope. So, like, what kind of so, then? What what got got you over the hump into the Xbox? Into the Xbox. So, so listen. So we're talking about going all the way from O one, and, mm-hmm. and realistically, I've got to fast forward to about O seven oh eight, and it was okay. it was my brother. He brought he he had he was really into it. So he went and grabbed the three sixty when the three sixty first came out. And I'm still holding on to that PlayStation. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. He brings me over, right? He brings me over an Xbox. He's like, it's time to get real. Brings me over the Xbox and slaps down Gears of War. And let me tell you something. That's when the shit hit the fan. I'm like, this is real right here. This is when I said, what's going on? Why am I still on this shit? Why am I still on? What the hell is going on over here on this Xbox? And that was it. And maybe mm. you might call it late to the party. Here it is in 2018. It's easy mm. to say 2007 was mm. a minute ago. But realistically, it's kind of late to the party, mm. right? But that was the game that opened that my did. eyes, right? Facts. That was when I saw the world in color, Facts. right? I was like, this is what's happening right now, <laughs> right? <laughs> this Facts. is crazy. Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you something, which, because you, you're hitting it on the head. Like, that game, I remember the trailer. King saw no, the commercial. Man. Me and him. Do you remember that, that cold world song yes yes and him marcus phoenix shooting and it was just millions mi- 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 all these the aliens coming at him it, it was it blew my mind like that was a tone piece and i believe shout out to um ron mccaffrey shout out to peter moore i mm-hmm. believe ron mccaffrey had a show was excellent he had like like it was kind of like the generations of xbox he had yes. shane blackley yes, back yeah. in the day he yeah. Had, um, yeah. yeah he had uh, peter moore and he had, <laughs> he had phil and when peter was talking uh, he talked about the boardroom when they brought that oh, yeah, in yeah, to yeah, kind yeah. of show them and how emotionally, like people were like, they've never seen anything. It was just silence. Like, like that cold world trailer made me want to pick up gears. I'll never forget. I'm glad you said that much. That game was, man, for its time, whoo, 
Ooh, you know geez, that interview you're special. talking about? That interview you're talking about, if no one has seen it, that is a great interview to watch. To Absolutely. see Peter Moore, Phil, and our boy Seamus sitting there. And, and yes. you can see, by the way, each of them talks about their experience through Xbox, yeah. right? Yeah. How hard. I mean, you want to talk about yeah. being a pioneer. OK, and I know we're going to get into I, I think one of the questions you had for me, too, mm -hmm. uh, you know, was, you know, how I got into Xbox yeah. or excuse me, not just Xbox, but YouTube and, and the whole yeah, thing that we all do today. Out. Right. And, and here's the thing before we get into that, to see Seamus Blackley and what he had to do to preach to the CEOs yes. at the time that this was going to be something that man is open to discuss all types of games with every one of us. Right. Mm -hmm. That man climbed the, the, the tallest, nice. steepest mountain. To get to get where Xbox is today, Preach. where you know people are like, well, Phil, Phil had to preach this and Phil had to preach that. And no doubt he did. Mm -hmm. But Seamus Blackley, when he walked in and was like, cool. so this Xbox, right? They were like, yeah, Laughed all right, like, right? Oh, yeah, somebody mm -hmm. can somebody tell yeah. him that we need more water in the water cooler. Get, get him out, <laughs> yes. get out of here. You know what I mean? Like You're this right. man went to war for everybody. That's why with Seamus, I, I don't care what he tweets, whatever he tweets, I'm like retweet that. Oh yeah, that absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic point, Lomuj, because like you said. Out Seamus, like th them in the console space was considered a joke. If you listen to many stories, he's been on numerous podcasts and people forget the struggle. Like Windows was so dominant back then. And it, it was just anything like Microsoft into gaming. It was like an afterthought. So for him right. to pioneer that, you're right. He he doesn't get enough credit as the father of Xbox, like him, Jay Allen, all those guys. Like that was like. Wow, <laughs> you know, say so just to try to push that forward because it was it was so much pushback and to get that thing out and yes. a lot of people people say the OG wasn't successful and I get that but that kind of laid the foundation, Peter and then Phil and all those guys to kind of get the thing going, man. Yes, and the ball get, was rolling, yeah, man. And listen, it. each of them had their struggles. Everyone had their mm -hmm. trials and tribulations through being the CEO of you know the the head of Xbox, but realistically. Uh, when you see what the guys had to do back in the day, to, to, like, like we just discussed it right now, where we take the switch on the road or we have these shows. Mm -hmm. We have people at work, all of us. I have a, a lot of my friends in life. They say, they, they're like, really? You go home and play video games? I go, you really go home and watch The Voice? Don't tell me you're going to sit there and watch <laughs> The Voice for two hours, three days a week. <laughs> like we are putting hand-eye coordination to work. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> Besides, yeah, besides movies, uh, video games is what's pushing television technology yes. forward. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, um, what you don't understand is we were gaming on 480, not even 480p. It mm -hmm. was sub 480p, 480i. Remember Interlace? Remember that? It was yeah. like 480i television. And yep. We it didn't get pushed forward until the medium of, of movies and video games. Because DVD. they saw the market started yeah. pushing it forward. DVDs right. brought the clarity up. Now HD DVD versus Blu-ray brought the clarity yeah. up. So yeah. it pushed it into everybody's homes, and we're pushing the technology along with the PC to yeah. push these graphics and these television resolutions all the way up. They talk about yeah. 8K now, and um, right? I'm pretty sure these new systems – Coming out later is going to try some AK. King, One of them is going to try King, some AK. You couldn't have preached any better than what you just said. There was no way, okay? You go back before video games hit like mainstream media like it is now. We were holding on the TVs for a decade, maybe mm, yep. a decade plus. And mm -hmm. now you got people who just bought a 4K being like, maybe I could get something if they got the free sync in it. <laughs> maybe I'll switch up after three years. Yeah. That's what this gaming industry has done. It does promote the technology is moving yes. at a rapid rate, yes. but we might not have made that move financially if it wasn't for Thank these you. video games. So, Thank King, you. good point, King. Good point. You guys nailed it because I remember with the OG Xbox, like, hey, you need Ethernet. Like, it's no more yeah. dial up. You know, like, an Xbox doesn't get enough credit for pushing a lot of things forward. Like, there were certain things you like, okay. It's hard to tell if, uh, they, if Xbox wouldn't have came out with Xbox Live, would internet be where it is? Where, because, listen, it because really the gaming industry pushed the uh, the internet industry to where they had to increase because mm -hmm. people want to play these games. So they right. had to compete with each other to get the best form out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and even with the television market, right? When the 360 came out, like 720p, that was like the standard. Yeah, I was yeah. Go across they had to boost, yeah, exactly. they had to boost that resolution up. HDMI up. when when the t when when the, the system had HDMI built mm -hmm. in, it was a thing, a big thing. Absolutely. It was a huge thing because the systems force this evolution, this yes. change, the crossover. Yes, yeah. absolutely, man. So back to Mooch, man, like, woo. 
history, man. So that that was what did it. So yeah, I got it. That's what I needed to know. That was what, mm-hmm. what, what Transform X got you. So let's let's now transition because obviously you got a big history. And then, you know, the whole getting into YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. And, and you we've talked offline, like in oh, my yeah. opinion, you've got one of these iconic voices. You know what I'm saying? Like you're that. built for radio, like you're built to do this. So how did that whole passion now translate into getting into YouTube? How did that start? Yeah, and you know, this is a great this is a great story, man. And I, I enjoy telling it because a lot of people mm-hmm. don't know, and that's what's great about coming on the show and being able to, to talk to your audience as well. Pretty. Is you know, so so we had this passion. Everyone on this panel has this passion built, and that's why we're doing it. But I'm mm-hmm. sitting there. Okay, back in 2012, mm. 2013, and I'm sitting there and I'm doing all this reading and, you know, I'm excited because we've all waited too damn long between last generation and the generation we're currently in. And mm. I was amped and I saw the great uh, potential that was coming out of, like I said, we'd like to see technology kind of roll forward. So I saw these things that the Xbox One was doing and I know the media didn't care for it, but I did. I liked the idea of Connect. Did I like Connect games? Not really, but I liked what the Connect. I yes. said, we are moving forward. Forward. Okay? Mm-hmm. We're in, in two two points. The connect being one of them. The other one is the HDMI in. Okay, mm-hmm. because now when I come home, just like everybody does in their household, yes. okay, puts on their television. Now I can put my television on, and I can know that my friend King is playing. I can know that Cognito is on. I can know Sav is on. I know Addict is hitting me up to play Destiny. And if mm-hmm. I can't. I can message you back and say, I'll get with you later. Yes. Okay. Yep. This is what I saw coming down the pipeline. And mm-hmm. when I saw that the PS4 was just going to be a better look in PS3, I said, okay, all right, mm-hmm. that's fine. That's what we do in progression, right? We are going forward. But when I saw micro- Microsoft was taking the 360 up and then giving me things I didn't even know we could do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's mm-hmm. when I said, so to get back into it. So I saw all this happening and I saw all this negativity coming from the media, right? So we saw all this. We all saw it with our own eyes. I don't have to tell you, (laughs) right? So here I am. I'm flipping through YouTube. I'm checking stuff out. YouTube to me is still kind of new. You know, YouTube back in the day, you go back to 2011 and before, YouTube was like, how do you fix your washer and dryer? That's (laughs) all I did with YouTube, okay? (laughs) You know, I mean, there's a couple people streaming games, but I wasn't that interested on that. I was like, I don't know. So so I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, just like, you know, he says it, I'm going to give him credit in a second. I stumbled upon Zaire. Mm, and shout I'm watching. Z. Shout out to Z. That he, the, the, mm-hmm. the true Godfather. One of the God, yes, that, yes, he is part of that. That, that triumph. I, yes. I don't go on one show without giving credit where credits due. And Zaire is the, he is the original, the pioneer. Absolutely, so, Godfather. Mm-hmm. A lot yes, of sir. Have to give credit. Absolutely. Have to. Whether mm-hmm. you like the content or not, he is absolutely the man who started it all. So, mm-hmm. but I'm watching. And I said, this man has got. First of all, Zaire should be doing more than YouTube. That man is pure. He knows how to entertain. He mm-hmm. knows how to yep. make people laugh. And that's something that you yep. can write things. You can do script. Some mm-hmm. things just come natural. Mm-hmm. I was drawn right to Z's channel. So I go there and I said, I'm sitting there. So I watch and I'm watching just his 10 minute segments. I'm watching mm-hmm. all things. Then I start watching him doing this BGST. Mm-hmm. I said, you know what? This is now he's doing some comic relief. Mm-hmm. We've got shout out to crap gamer. Crap's kind of doing the news, right? Mm-hmm. He's reading the news. The mm-hmm. panel's reacting, mm-hmm. right? We all take this for granted now, but these two guys are doing this thing. They got this thing cooking. And I turn over to my family. I said, these guys need me, right? That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> You're like, I got to get on. I'm like, I need to do this. <laughs> yeah. So I said, well, how do you do this without, you know, so, you, know and they, and they, you know, Z and crap, they always tell their stories about it. And they make it joke. But I, I reached out to Z and I said, you know, Z, I'm, I'm, I'm checking out your show. I, I think it's great. I said, I'd like to, you know, try out because I know you said a couple people at the time had left BGST. How do I do that? So Z gets a, a hold of me. We go back and forth. And he's doing an interview process. He wants to make sure, you know, you're not some crazy little, yeah, yeah, absolutely. you know, so he's going back and forth. We're asking each other <laughs> questions, right? So out of nowhere, here I am on a Sunday afternoon. Uh-huh. I'm sitting here. I believe it was, I want to say it was 20. It was definitely 2014, early 2014. Mm-hmm. My phone goes off. Mm-hmm. And I see you. I said, wait a minute. Zaire, he said, he said, you know, you still want to do this this podcast thing? I said, mm-hmm. absolutely. And I'm thinking he's, you know, like what we talked about, you know, we're like, yeah. let's get our dates together. We'll make something work out. Same thing with Crossfire. We got stuff going on. Mm-hmm. He's like, you still want to do this? I write back, yes, absolutely. He's mm-hmm. like, all right, be ready by 630 tonight. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I, never, I never did this before. I'm like, somebody get me a microphone. Right. You know, so I'm screaming that out the window. Like, uh, So I get everything set up. I go on there and do the show. Uh, and, and afterwards, I get, you know, I get some feedback from Z. Crap gets a hold of me and they're like, 
you know, you did pretty good. I go, well, I go, you know, you just butter my roll. What's the deal? How? And he's like, no, listen, we've had people on the show. And I always call Paul and a, a Walt Disney. Sometimes you have people on the show and they love the show. They love the idea. But just because you can buy a microphone doesn't mean you should use a microphone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> gotcha, so gotcha, gotcha. that's the way it is sometimes. So mm -hmm. I said, to, I said, do, did I, you know, he's like, listen, I'll let you know, but I definitely want to get you back on the show. And I said, all right, that's nice. bad. I said, that is realistically the biggest compliment you could do. So mm -hmm. time went by, about a week goes by, all of a sudden I get pinged again. He's like, do you, you want to do this? So I said, yeah. Then I, he goes, do you want to do this regularly? I said, absolutely. E3 mm. comes and you no know, people were doing a little doom and gloom, but I dug what I saw in 2014 mm -hmm. at E3. Okay, I mm -hmm. liked the direction. I saw the, at the time we saw some new games coming out still. Mm -hmm. And so crap gets hold of me and says, hey, do you want to just do a one-on-one? -on -one? It seems mm -hmm. like you really liked it. We'll do it on a Wednesday night. And it gotcha. was just a, it was supposed to be a one-time thing, just a post show. Mm -hmm. It's funny how people's right? careers kind of start like right? that. It's interesting, yeah. So we're just doing one thing. Anyways, that becomes, so that that one show, me and crap do a two-hour thing on, on the review of E3 becomes mm -hmm. what we all know is Xbox Nation, mm -hmm. you know? And I mean, and everything just kind of built up and it kind of ramped up into what we know today. Of course, Twitter mm -hmm. plays a role. And, and, and to be honest with you, it, it's been great. You know, it has gotcha. been absolutely wonderful. The community's fantastic. Gotcha. Uh, uh, you, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. Like I said, you go back in the day, Cognito, when you go back to 2013, 2014, mm -hmm. realistically, what was the console wars and the way people were kind of going at each other? It was like I said, it was like when we were talking about this offline, everybody. It yes. was kind of like the old high school days, right? <laughs> we give each other, you throw a jab, a jab come back, right? Sometimes you could dodge the jab. Sometimes you got hit in the face, Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it was what it was. And then, you know, it kind of evolved. And, mm -hmm. and, and I want to even bring it to today mm -hmm. and to say that what we are doing today is, mm -hmm. is a great thing. Shout out to uh, NLGs in the chat. Absolutely. To, you know what I mean? We've got Brap in the chat. you got Crap mm -hmm. in the chat. Mm -hmm. Jay Fonz, Salt. The thing Absolutely. is, is these are all people that we all had our stories of how we got into it, why yes. we wanted to get into it. We yes. got the Lords, we got Mooch, we got everybody's here. The mm -hmm. point of the matter is that now we can still have our healthy opinions. We yes. can still have our healthy, like, you don't have to like what I like. Mm -hmm. but, what, what, but the point is, is that sometimes, and I'll be honest with you, like I came around, right? Mm -hmm. I came around to a lot of different games that I didn't think I would like. Like mm -hmm. I did not like Dark Souls at all. <laughs> I thought it was really, really I'm, I'm hard. Still in that shout out to Lord Attic. Shout out to Lord <laughs> Attic. Because I'm going to tell you man. right now, yeah. I had to watch that man play. My son, uh, it's a different generation watching people play games. I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. But my son mm -hmm. watches him. Mm -hmm. He watches his, his stream and he's like, you know, can I kind of watch him, daddy? I said, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm eating and I'm watching him watch him. And he said, look at him, daddy. Mm -hmm. He's killing all the monsters with the big heads first. It was some <laughs> weird room he was in and he survived it. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I can't have my son idolizing this dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's how right? That's how I said, I I yo, let me get my behind over here and play some dogs. I said, yeah, daddy can play it too. Uh, <laughs> and after after dying at that werewolf hand in Ooh. the beginning, everybody yep. has the same story. <laughs> yep. <laughs> in Bloodborne, I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. Attic is a true beast. This yeah, game is not for me, but it's it's serious. Okay. Exactly. So yeah, I fail you on that, but yeah, no, I'm bad. not a Bloodborne or Dark Souls preaching. dude. Mooch is preaching because you failed your city. <laughs> the, the, thing about, the thing about Dark Souls, just to get back in the game in a bit, is, mm -hmm. you know, the, here's the reason I like it. Mm -hmm. We sit here and we talk about those ghosts and goblin days. You talk about the day before the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Before that, when you only had the three lives to get through Contra, okay? <laughs> sure. This is a game. I call this the game of games, Dark mm -hmm. Souls, because let me tell you just how much it is. So people go, Mooch, what the hell are you talking about? If I want to play with my friend in a co-op session, you have to play the game to earn the ember to call your friend. Yes. This is what I'm trying to You can't just hit two players start. <laughs> okay? You need to play the game to get the right mm -hmm. to earn the fact to bring somebody in and help you through a fight. This mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. When I saw that, mm -hmm. that's when my eyes opened up again. I said, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. This game is something unlike anything else mm -hmm. I have right now in my collection. Mm -hmm. It is in the community in the Dark Souls community. And I'm not, listen, if you don't like the game, no, you don't good. like the game. That's Absolutely. fine. Absolutely. But what I want people to realize with this game is it is, a, you know, when you say it, it's a gamer's game, you have yes. to play yeah. it yes. to even bring a friend on board. That to me That's was it. when I said, wait a minute, this game's playing me right now. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> this game is playing me. It's making me do something I didn't even think I had to do to mm -hmm. get my friends involved. So that being said, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying about opening our eyes and moving yes. forward, right? Preach. And I, you, you know me. Listen, I was, I was, I related Dark Souls to a Paul Abdul song. <laughs> Dude, I remember when remember you used to go at Destiny. I <laughs> went home like, with it. I did. You've Look come so full circle. And, and you just said it. it's like back in the day, high school. The way we like I equivalent a lot of this stuff is it's like sports teams, right? Yes. A lot of us, you know, you're like, yo, you Yankees, yo, you match, yo, or whatever team it was. And everybody just had that pride. And yes, sometimes it goes a little too far. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you know, sometimes I remember getting to the age where I mean King had to school me. Like I had to, I used to be a Michael Jordan hater. Oh, he's oh, oh, there. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. And then <laughs> whatever, like, whatever. he was like, who's better than him? Like, kind of realistically, right? right? And, and, and like, he would just win and win. And eventually, I had to get to that maturity, that age to say, you know what? Right. Can, can, he's the best. Like, there's no. Yeah, he's like, the, I'm not a Michael Jordan team. fan. I'm a Scottie Pippen fan. But yeah. I'm going to tell you, I have to bow down, you know, yeah, to, like, to the GOAT, you know. Exactly. And it, it's just that maturation process in it, even from sports and, and, and for gaming. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's so cool. And I think. Like, I'm so glad we did this because a lot of people don't get a chance to see that evolution from a lot of our community and, and right. put people in boxes and, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Oh, and no, we, we about mm -hmm. pure gaming. I, I just want to, I, I wanted to say this before because, you mm -hmm. know, you mentioned Zaire and, you know, when Zaire was going through his problems or whatever, I reached out to him and, and you know, expressed my concern uh, mm -hmm. for him. And also, you know, um, this community, we all have the same mistress. And I know if you heard mm -hmm. this, plenty of times we all fell in love with the same thing and it's gaming that's right so that's at the true. same essence of it is like i don't care how you got to this point but mm -hmm. you got to this point and it was a gateway point that we all had everybody yes. had that same epiphany moment that i can't mm -hmm. live without this mm -hmm. so at what point it became a divide i don't care where you game at i don't care if you game on your cell phone you gaming mm -hmm. we are brothers period Facts. so mm -hmm. For it to become a divide and become personal and attacks and trying to separate. No, I'm trying to unify. That's I right. want us all to Preach. be inside Thank one you. room we're Preach. playing. I want us all to, oh, deal is in this room, or oh, crap is in this room, or oh, mooch is in this room, and we're all in the same room talking about the same exact yep. thing. Mm -hmm. Love of yes. the same exact That's thing. The game. Right. That's the common thread. At the end of the day, it's gaming which unites us. You know what I'm saying? And like, That's listen, right. we, we all have our own takes. We all got our own different opinions. We're not all going to agree on everything. It's not a kumbaya situation, but we have to understand that, yo, we game. We all love the same thing. That's right. <laughs> you know, playing video games and getting away from the dramas of life, that's our escape. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But back to you, Lord Mooch. Yeah. You, you're going right from that point. And then you said um, with, with the channel, like I said, you, you had you said the BGST, the Xbox, and all that stuff. And then my question now is like, how did – what was the birth of Crossfire? Like, yeah. very curious about that. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it was the motivation and the promotion from Zaire. It, it, Z mm -hmm. kept on saying to me all the time, he's like, Moose, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Will you please start a channel? So a lot of times you'll see, you know, when you see somebody, they have their their, their born on date of when they started their channel. Yeah. I've had the YouTube thing, but it sat there idle doing nothing. It was just, so right, it did nothing. <laughs> so then he's like, listen, he's like, you got people in the chat right now on BGST. You know, you got these mooch maniacs showing up, Maniac. right? They're showing up outside the house. He's like, why don't you, <laughs> he's like, why don't you start a show? So nice. finally I said, listen, okay, now look at the Lord, right? You like this one. The Lord only made seven days, that right? right? <laughs> <laughs> right, according to, to to the scriptures we have. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm looking. And I'm like, all right, Monday's gone, Tuesday's this guy, Wednesday's these folks, Thursday's, this. and I'm like, all right, so this Friday. And I said to myself, now wait a minute. I said, you know, Friday used to be a night that when you're a younger cat, you're going out to the club. It's this and that you're making yeah, you're, you're making yeah. yourself known. I said maybe Friday's not going to work, but I said, you know what? That's not who I'm trying to reach right now. If you got your collar mm. popped and you're going ahead, right, and you got your goose. <laughs> And your patron, listen, <laughs> you're doing that. <laughs> That's not the audience I'm going for right now. You know, listen, that collar pops coming back, by the way. All right? <laughs> Don't <laughs> you know that, that that's still coming back. But so I said, I know this gaming community looks forward to the end of the week to come home, get their favorite drink, get something to eat, and start gaming on Friday night. And there's nothing yep. better than that. So I said, All right, listen, nobody's going for Friday. Let me see if I can make Friday work. Mm. So, bam, there we go. And, I, and again, it was Zaire and crap being like, you need to do this. 
Nice. You gotta do this. Yo, the chat so, going hard. Everybody right? say, "Yo, I got my collar popping off." Yeah, right. I'm man, telling you, over here popping you, collars, do your, you do that, Shooter McGavin, and do it right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pop that collar. <laughs> but <laughs> right. So okay. it, it's good, man. So, so Friday has been a lot of fun, uh, and, and, and I like. So, so I don't know. I'm not gonna say I'm a pioneer by no means, but my idea was a little bit different. So I had done mm -hmm. VGST, mm -hmm. did Xbox Nation, and we had set folks that came on every single week it was the same panel i said you know what i said the way for me to express myself is i like a little debate you know what mm -hmm. i mean like when we right. get to the topics we haven't even hit the topics yet when we mm -hmm. get to the topics there's gonna be somebody on the panel that says mooch i like where you're coming from mm -hmm. but here's let me tell you one of my eldest love let me tell you why you're wrong okay because <laughs> the situation is not all of us are gonna think the same Mm, yeah, so absolutely. I want it. I've always done crossfire where I have what I call my usual suspects, which is mm -hmm. my crew that we all have. And mm -hmm. then I try to bring on two guests every week mm -hmm. different. And I think that that's important. And now mm -hmm. now that the community is doing what we're doing right now here on Iron Lords podcast mm -hmm. and we're, you know, and we're expanding everybody. This Appreciate is what's good. Sav has been on there. Cognito. You guys know that when Appreciate we get on, we have fun and it's absolutely. good. You don't have to come on and agree with me. As a matter absolutely. of fact, I prefer you that prefer, you don't you're like agree me. With me. You are the same in that regards because I'm the same. I don't like a say me. Yes. Guy kind of podcast. Right. I like to debate. I like people to challenge me. I like people to say, you know what? I didn't see it from that perspective. Thank you. you know what I mean? And that's what creates that healthy debate. And when I got on Crossfire, I'll be honest, like <laughs> it blew me away. It wasn't what I expected. Right. And that's why this I said is not going to be everybody going in a circle being like, oh, no, no, I agree with you. That's right. That's right. No, it's not. Because if you agree with me, there's nothing to tune into. Right. You know what I mean? I can just I make a public that. service announcement and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crossfire only be about 15 <laughs> seconds this week. So, I mean, I realistically, I want you guys to discuss and like you say, open up your mind and right. let's talk about it, let's you know? It. So that's where Crossfire came from. Nice. And then last but not least, I mm. had a meeting with uh, uh, Crap and I said, you know, the one thing I really, really enjoy, and we were talking about this just before the show started, was I love morning radio. Okay, yes. any of us that have gotten yeah. up, you take mm, the bus to work, weird. you go here, you that's put New your York. headset on, right? That's right. That's New you York. Got, right? So what you got right. You had your 66, all that, man. Yeah. All the time, yeah. man. That's what mm -hmm. you listen to. Listen to talk radio, talk radio. So I said to crap, I said, you know what I want to do? I want to do a morning show. I wanted to do the morning show. And I think I think mm -hmm. we're ultimately going to go back to mornings eventually. Mm -hmm. But with the schedule, it was just tough. But I said, let's do something where we could take a little bit of like a creative. We could do a couple of skits. Where we, mm -hmm. we poke fun at Xbox, we poke fun at Sony, mm -hmm. uh, we poke fun at the media, we poke mm -hmm. fun of ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We do the whole thing. I said, let's do it with a little bit of a higher production value. And mm -hmm. I said, let's give folks their Sunday morning, like just their gaming. Yes. Listen, I want to talk about gaming with a cup of coffee. It doesn't yes. always have to be with a vodka straight up, <laughs> right? I mean, I want to sometimes just have a cup of coffee Preach. and listen to some gaming news. And that's I what you, and, and that's why I love how we did have this great chemistry where we went right from M and C, mm -hmm. right? And then sometimes Luca would do a 12 o'clock spot yeah. and then yeah. you guys were going on at one. So mm -hmm. we got something, and like I said, I think MNC is going to come back to Sundays eventually. Mm -hmm. But realistically, it, it, mm -hmm. that's what kind of drove that was my passion for morning radio. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. So, and here we are today. That's, and this that kind of brings us today. You know, mm -hmm. that's, this is, and that's how it was born. Uh, dude, it's an amazing story. Fantastic stories. And like I said, I, I think you guys don't get enough credit for what you do. I've been on the show. It's been fantastic. Also, shout out Thank your you. team, man. You've got a nice panel. We've actually had like almost half your panel on ILP at this point. <laughs> Right. Yeah. We've had yeah, Xbox. Xbox. Shout boom. Out to boom. That was a great find. How you, yes. That was a great signing. That was a good. That was like a first. You know round. what it was? Yeah. It really was. It was almost like uh, literally like an undrafted. Uh, you know what yes. I mean? Like if people always see these guys. Right. Just, boom and reached out to me and he goes, listen, he goes, uh, look, he goes, a lot of people probably reach out to you, but mm -hmm. I, I'd really like a chance at this. And and mm -hmm. so I said, all right, just same way we did. I said, let me let me see what the scary because I don't want to have someone new come on the show yes. and be the ninth person. And you're yes. new. You're going to get Preach. drowned out. Preach. So I said, listen, let's do this right. Let's get you on in about three weeks. He goes, good. That'll give me enough time to get the right, you know, and we went back and forth. Yeah. I showed him how people showed me a good mm -hmm. microphone, nice. good setup, hooked nice. the man up. He did that. He came on and he mm -hmm. killed it. Nice. So I said, you know what? Sounds let's do it the same way Zaire. He mm -hmm. said, I said, let's do this again in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. See if it's still your flavor. See if it's something you're digging. Mm -hmm. Comes back Absolutely. on in two weeks. <laughs> nails it again. Nails I, said, again. I said, you know what you need to do? You need to be on here. Pretty much all the damn time. Nice. Man. And the that, man is passionate, dude. That's yes. what I think. He's writing me every day, guys. He's writing me every day. He's like, mm. you know, let me do this. And, and should I do that? He's sending me sound bites. Do you think the sound is right? And I'm nice. like, this dude is legit. He's into it. His passion is there. It, bro. He's in, that's it, what it, it is. It, it resonates. You can you can completely yes. see it. 
it is so cool, man. Like I said, shout out. And like I said, who you got one more? Um, I haven't had him on the show yet. Cause you got it's crap. Yeah. Boom. X Pot. Who am I missing? As so you've got Alan Walsh. Alan Walsh, yes. Yep. And yes. clowns. You've had clowns. Cl- of course the clowns. We had clowns, clowns on. Clowns I'm talking, we had more than the paddle lord. Dude, clowns, awesome. clowns is such a wholesome, he's a wholesome dude. He helps the community out. Like when I was setting up one of my, I did a stream. A lot of people don't know. I did a stream with, uh, you know, the whole thing at one of my, one of my claim to fame's early on back in the day was the whole rocket league slash soccer cars. Right. Mm-hmm. So right. when soccer cars finally made its way to Xbox, I reached out uh, on, I can't remember what show I was on. I think I, I believe it or not. I think I came into one of your chats when you had, mm-hmm. um, uh, you had Phil on or Aaron on mm-hmm. and in the chat was major Nelson. So I wrote to Major Nelson in the chat. I said something along the lines of, I said, hey, Major, why don't we stream soccer cars the week after it launches? He writes back right away, let's do it, Mooch. Wow. I said, holy shit. I'll wow. be damned. <laughs> so right, let me tell you something. Right, Hanging out with Larry, that's mm. like, the, he's, he's, he's a tough dude to get a hold of. So yeah. I'm like, all right. So, so we ended up setting it up. And shout out to Clowns and shout out to um, mm. uh, Inferno. Mm. They got together, helped me out because we didn't have the mm-hmm. streaming thing that we have now with Mixer, right? Mm-hmm. So I was trying Correct. to get all their, all these uh, people in chat to come through, mm-hmm. which we couldn't ultimately do at the end. But I still had Inferno and Clowns yes, working diligently to help me get Larry's voice through on the broadcast. So we still did the broadcast with Larry, mm-hmm. but I was kind of doing a, now, you know, I asked Larry to question and after he would respond to me while we were playing the game, mm-hmm. I would then tell the audience what he said as verbatim mm-hmm. as I could while I'm playing a video game. So, <laughs> right? That was, we were talking about difficult and sweating to death. Back. So, shout out to Clown. Shout out to Inferno. Shout out to the whole and, crew, man. Yeah, man. Four guys with quarters. They actually tick affiliates as well. We got a lot of tick affiliates in the building right now. NLG, Brap, all yes. that, man. Much appreciate. Dude, this is like, we could just talk for hours on this. Oh, listen, I got news for you. I was looking to see all the Iron Lords podcasts, and I saw that you guys go to about two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> Today's going about four hours and 40 minutes. Because Boss Moon said, oh, DJ, is this the intro? Right? Hey, hey. Hey, DJ, listen, I'm not throwing those white gloves in the bushes. I'm going to tell you right now, all right? I love Larry. Larry's not going anywhere. I do understand that you guys get off on me and Attic going at each other. We don't really normally do that, all right? But (laughs) sometimes we may clash, and and it's going to happen. He's vocal. I'm vocal. That's going to happen. But, uh, yeah. Dead, let's dead, let's, dead, let's dead. cut the fraud talk yeah. out in there. I see the fraud talking. Let's cut that fraud talk let's out. Let's in there. Up and get out. into the topic. So, Boots, last thing. <laughs> Obviously, we from, we all, most of us here in the panel, the Lord's table, are from New York. So, we yes. know the meaning of your name to mean one thing. So, we just want to clarify. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we know that. what Mooch means out here. <laughs> <Back to this. laughs> so, the science behind the name Mooch. Let's get that. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, it was all it was all a college thing, you know. What here's the thing. I've always felt, okay, and I do this to this day. Mm-hmm. You know, a mooch, you look it up, it's someone who you know just kind of like leeches and takes shit, you know, and uh, yeah. borrows it. But here's the way I looked at it. Back in the day, you know, when we used to hang out, let's say I would go over to Cognito Spot, right? I go mm-hmm. over to Soft Spot or King. I say, listen, I said, uh, you know, you guys are getting together, having a hangout. We're all what? We're 18 to 21. Let's we'll say we're 21 for the conversation because we're talking about having some beers in the fridge. And you're like, Mooch, you didn't, bring, <laughs> you, didn't bring, you didn't bring no beer. And I'm like, you got 12 of them in there. So listen, some people, right? So some people would actually grab a beer from you back in the day, right? And then they would walk off and go hang out or take some beer and go, not this dude. I would hang with you all the time. People used to say it all the time. They're like, you know the thing about Mooch that's pretty cool? This dude came over, drank all my beer, but this son of a bitch stayed with me all day long. <laughs> we hung out. We jammed out. Oh, so you gained. was a real Mooch. Like, you, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yes, like, like you didn't just take a little piece of leaf. You ate the whole pot. I stayed for the whole thing. Yeah, almost spit my juice out. <laughs> <laughs> but I hung out with him. You know what I mean? Still, he still, yo, it's so no stayed, shame in so, his Mooch. No. <laughs> so let me get this straight, Mooch. You stayed for the beer at the beginning of the day. You got the dinner at the end. And you got the yeah. lunch in the beginning. I <laughs> wasn't listen, I wasn't bad for us. I said, What's for dinner? Cognito, he was a, a, a gooch mooch. He yes, was yes. a, a Debo mooch. Like he'll mooch and sit there with you and chill with you the whole time. Yes. <laughs> yes. But that's the difference. You got that's the difference. Though. He stayed with you, though. He you got to. That's the <laughs> point. If someone come up to you and says, hey, can I get that cigarette? And you give him the cigarette and the dude just leaves? He's like, that oh, son no. of a bitch just took a cigarette. <laughs> but if he sits there and has one with you, now you have a conversation. Respect. I gotta respect. You gotta, you gotta respect that. Mo- so it's the same, chill. right? 
Thank you. Yes, Mook just chill. Yes, I did. yes. Like you just opened up my eyes. There's correct ways to be a mooch and incorrect ways. Exactly. There is. He's, There's. He's, listen, he's Gooch Mooch. That's listen, right. You don't remember the Gooch <laughs> the back from um? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, different so stroke. He's, <laughs> he's Debo you and sit there with your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I loved God. it, man. Listen, I, I, but here's the thing. It was all about bringing the entertainment, right? So even now, right, the big thing in the community is like, you know, you mooch your game. But if I mooch your game, let me be real with you. I don't yeah. just go, thanks for the game. Yeah. No. Shout out yeah. to Biggie2316. That's Biggie sent me Monster, Monster World, right? That's what's up. I didn't know who Biggie was. He heard me say I wanted to mooch that. Sends me the code, and I start me and him play through the game 50, 60, 65 up. hours. That's what's up. And that's what it's all about. If you're going to mooch, okay, at least you, you hang with the person that gave you <laughs> the gift. You don't he's take giving, it. He's giving right. you the credentials on how this to mooch properly. I'm teaching you all a valuable lesson, okay? He said, listen, just don't just don't dig your hand in the bag of potato chips and leave. <laughs> Eat his chip, but you look him in the eye when you eat his chip and you let him know this is happening between me and you right here. Let him know how good that bag of chips <laughs> is. Mooch is kind of mooching is like, you know, after I eat your stuff, I'm going to compliment you that your stuff was good. But I'm gonna go. Those are some good chips that you purchased. Thank you for your chip, sir. That's a respectable mooch. I'm dead, yo. <laughs> he, got, listen, listen, he, he got laws to mooching. He, he got <laughs> it's, it's to his mooching. People are, no, people are, I'm telling you, you got to revert back to the beer or the cigarette kind of example, right? The minute somebody takes a game or takes a cigarette, takes a sandwich from you, and just leaves, you don't want nothing to do with that dude. <laughs> true that. True that. If the, you know if the what? man sits yeah, there and hangs you know what? With I gotta yeah, just that 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 shout that that goes to a fraud alert. Shout out to uh Cole. Cole, you a fraud. I gifted you uh what was that? Uh PUBG and you, you haven't been on. Yo, <laughs> it's, it's nothing worse than gifting somebody a game and they don't play it. Uh yeah, oh you fraud. My God. <laughs> this is hilarious. So <laughs> we're gonna finish you off with the last segment, which is the hardest one we ask every guest. Yeah, yeah. Top five games or franchises Ooh. of all time. Man, that is that is difficult. It is difficult. Um let's go. All right, let's go. Let's make this. Let's get because we got we got a lot to we got talk show about to do. Too. We got a lot yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. Real quick, I'm gonna say, and, and and these are just because I I didn't know I didn't know you were gonna ask that, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw this okay. little I'm gonna throw a little vintage and okay. a little new one there. Okay, okay. let's go vintage. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Legend of Zelda. Everybody's got Zelda. Listen, no, this is listen. Crazy. That's like when you ask people in film, you know you're gonna hear the Godfather come out of something. <laughs> right? Yeah. You true know, that. some of them are throwing Casablanca out at you just because it's classic. <laughs> But realistically, Back. right? So, Legend of Zelda, you got to pay respect where respect to do. That was a game that opened a lot of people's eyes. So, there's mm -hmm. one. Okay? okay. So, let's put that out there. Let's put this out there mm -hmm. Castlevania. Mm -hmm. All of them. Because Woo! realistically, that was the platforming game mm -hmm. that set me straight. That I was like, and I still think, you know, if I was ever in the booth and I was able to make a decision, mm -hmm. when you talk to all these people, I didn't particularly care for Rise, you know, the game that came out this generation. I, didn't, I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't think there was anything right. wrong with it. I think it just needed a little bit more. But if you take Rise and put some of the Castlevania-esque, right, give that man a whip with a chain and a ball yes. at the end of it, right? Give this, you know, that is, that's the kind of game that really got me enthralled back as a kid. I love those types of games. That was how I got into the platform and the whole nine. Love the Simon Belmont, the whole mm. Dracula thing. Right, like, listen, of course. That's, that's where the true zombie, yeah. like, S came curiosity from. Moves, did you yeah. play Curse of Darkness? I did not. So shame on me. But mm -hmm. number three. So number three. all, all of the Castlevania <laughs> from Curse of Darkness. I have not played. I have not played Curse of Darkness. I played, I played a addict. lot of the ones. Believe it or not, right? <laughs> Why are you going to convert Look, somebody to this oh. stupid game? It sucks. <laughs> Let's go. See where you guys where you guys see that? I'm you know what I'm doing. My 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 arm hair just went up. My mooch senses. I'm sensing <laughs> addict sending me a code in a few minutes. But listen, that's what you said. Hold up. Right? He said he's he's down. Down. I don't wait, you really back. want him to experience <laughs> right? right? If you really want me to know, allow him, send me those twenty five digits. To do his name set. Yes. Let's, let's get this move. Okay, going. we gotta get this thing going. <laughs> All right, we gotta get this. Um, right, and, and then realistically, I would say the Gears franchise. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I've got to give credit where credit's due while I'm saying it. And I'm leaving some great titles out, so please don't judge me. Uh, Dark Souls, because mm -hmm. that's changed the way that I look at the way games are played. Mm -hmm. And I will say this much. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, 
okay, from the very beginning all the way up through the GameCube, okay, back on the PlayStation, and mm. where we are today, mm. I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Resident Evil still holds a very, very warm spot in my heart. And I'm talking way back, okay, you going back to go the back beginning. You can go back to your own podcast because Boom is accepting now. He's Yes, he's Boom, podcast. listen, and that's what's so great, too. You want to talk about that link. That's something that me and him just yeah. linked up I immediately. Because, right listen, everybody else is down on it. Mm -hmm. Days gone. Listen, that game can that game could suck. I can't wait for it. I'm excited as hell. That's you. you put zombies in a game. I you feel you. Be there, all right. So there you. we go. At least I, I, there's my five. I'm gonna that do that. But off top, man, that was impressive. I, like I just that, I'm just man. spitting that out. No doubt, man. Let's get into because we got a lot Let's to do. Go. A lot of topics. Let's get into it. So, um, last, last week's poll results are in. The people have spoken with the plethora of consumer friendly services that Xbox Live provides. Do you think Xbox Live should adopt a tier level pricing model? The winner at 58% in a fairly convincing three way ILP poll is the yes, we want Game Pass incorporated into the Xbox Live subscription group. Coming in at second place at 23% was the no, not unless multiplayer, online multiplayer is free at the base level group. And at third place with a close 9% of the vote was, I don't care until I see these more exclusive games group. <laughs> Thanks to all the lords who participated in the poll. Lord Mooch, what do you think about combining or incorporating that uh, subscription? That's what the fans seem to want. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm also in that camp. I, I think that it should. I, uh, but I liked how you put the question earlier, and, if I, and I didn't see the poll, so pardon me. <laughs> but um, realistically, I think that there should be tiers. Because mm -hmm. there's certain people that let's get to the tiers before we talk about the, the combining of the two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The tiers is good for the different, you know, listen, since we are, I, I like to joke around with this. Mm -hmm. We are in the generation of options, folks. Okay. Yes. That's what we're doing here. If you mm -hmm. want to drive with the windows down and the air conditioning on, that's what we're doing. We would have got slapped silly in the eighties, but right <laughs> now. Okay. Mm -hmm. But right now people are doing that and that's fine. Mm -hmm. So if you want to let people make a decision on their tiers mm -hmm. and say, I just want to play online with my friends, but I don't need these games with gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, take me out of there. Let me just play. And maybe that's mm -hmm. either going to be one. It'll never be on the house, but it'll right. be like a $20 deal. Right. And then it'll be or, or maybe a, a $25 deal, then 50 for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I think that you should give those options. Since Microsoft's giving people those because a lot of people and me included, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people just go on every first of the month and they go pick up the, the, <laughs> right, they, go pick up the they go download them and then they hit cancel and let them go into their library. <laughs> Listen, man, yo, I'm at a point right now where the backlog is real. Because he's like, he's the king of the finesse. Like he's telling right? you, yo, I'm going to slide in on the first and the 15th, man. <laughs> You already know, <laughs> but you know you ain't playing all those games. He he a lot of people. Do Nobody it. wants to play Super Meat Boy when you got this kind of lineup coming up, but they gave it away, so you take it, right? You want an said, extra scoop of potato salad? Of course, I want an extra scoop of potato salad. Like that <laughs> meat nice. boy. It's what? nice right. to see your backlog just grow and grow. I just like looking at that whole big stack of games that I'm probably never going to play. <laughs> Say, super Meat Boy. Right? I'm I mean, done. Look, look, these are the games they're giving us sometimes. They're giving us these ridiculous. <laughs> like, you take it because it's there. But realistically, there's a lot of people that if you said instead of $60 a year, what if I charge you 30 and you don't have to deal with playing with Mickey Mouse Adventures next month? <laughs> you're okay with that. <laughs> right? You can deal with yeah, it. So, so I do cool. think that that's fine. But mm -hmm. realistically, and I mm -hmm. wanted to say i'm gonna save my 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 uh my mm -hmm. idea my thought of what microsoft is doing i did mention it on crossfire but i want to wait till we get to xbox all access absolutely but it wouldn't hurt them to have another option mm. where they take game pass and they take live which really do go hand in hand mm -hmm. and combine them for a little bit of a lower price give the customer a break mm -hmm. i but think you, that's inevitable it's coming it's okay. got to uh Oh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, it's next level gaming. All right, what's inside here is uh, cucumber, what is he drinking? <laughs> ginger, lemon. Mm. All right, and that's uh, that alkalines the water and mm -hmm. it purifies your body, cleans out your kidneys, and all no, that other stuff. Food, though. Uh, I yeah, some Hennessy, I <laughs> no, no, actually, no, no, no. Y'all know if it was Tennessee, it'd be crazy dark. <laughs> 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 and, 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 and I would not be curse free, so you understand. If y'all ever no play doubt. with me on Xbox, you understand I'm uh, I'm curse laden. But over here, my kids watch the show. It would not be any curse. For the little lords, on. we appreciate you. That's right. With the language, thank you so much. <laughs> let's, let's get it. Let's get to these. Let's get to the topic because uh, it is two twenty one. Yeah, yeah we, we rocking. Lord Sav, what is going on in the world 
with this Xbox Live. What is going on? What's going on is that over the week, over the past week during Gamescom, um, Windows Central speculated, and, and everybody else pretty much did the same. Mm-hmm. That Microsoft was on the verge of announcing a new service called Xbox All Access, mm-hmm. which is going to allow you to subsidize mm-hmm. the purchase of an Xbox One S or X system. Mm-hmm. while combining the Game Pass service as well as Xbox Live into one monthly payment. Mm-hmm. Much like they did at the end of the 360 era where they subsidized, uh, I forgot which 360 it was, probably the smallest, cheapest. Yeah, towards the end of the era. Towards yeah. the end of the mm-hmm. era um, in order to give you Xbox Live. Basically, Trojan horse the whole thing, Xbox Live into your house. Right. And I think this, um, it still hasn't been confirmed by Microsoft, but enough info is out there that it it seems like it is a real thing. They just right. probably weren't ready to announce it at Gamescom. Right. And as far like, as we uh, know, got to cut you, as far as we know, it's the U.S. market only at this point is what the rumor is suggesting. At right? this point, the rumor is suggesting it's only U.S. market to start off with. I okay. mean, I guess we are their test market, so mm-hmm. they're going to see how it goes here before they move it elsewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like Mooch was saying, this is another option um, that they're giving people as a way to onboard into the Xbox ecosystem. And for them, I think it is another way to Trojan horse Game Pass into everything because for mm-hmm. them, I think Game Pass is everything going forward. Everything's right. going to be folded into If we look at other anou- things that they announced during Gamescom, uh, they, mm-hmm. they released the Game Pass app which yes. on the surface doesn't seem like much, but if you mm-hmm. think about it, why would you release a Game Pass app when you have Game Pass integrated into the Xbox app already is because Correct. Game Pass is going to be the star Correct. eventually. So mm-hmm. this is just a way of getting people into mm-hmm. the ecosystem mm-hmm. uh, without you know doing it painfully up front, buying a $500 or $200 system. Right. And what's the, part, what's the point of entry as far as the, because they have two, like the S and the X, right? What, so, what's the monthly payments looking like? So the S subscription is looking like they're talking about $22 a month, okay. um, which would make that about a 6 or $7 a month investment towards the 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 actual console itself right you figure you figure um live over the course of the two years is about 120 Mm dollars um and game pass over the course of a year is 120 dollars right so it it breaks down to about ten dollars a month for um Mm -hmm. ten dollars a month for for game pass for the year and then Mm five dollars a month for um for live for the year in right. addition to whatever you're paying, you know, the $7 or whatever you're paying for the, the console. Mm-hmm. Same thing. So, and then for the X, the X um, option, it's going to be about 35 a, uh, mm-hmm. a month. So that's, you know, again, $20 above the, the, the 10 and $5 breakdown for the Xbox, for Game Pass and whatnot for the X. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Um, at the end of the two years, mm-hmm. the way they're talking about it is that the, at the end of the two years, the system is yours mm-hmm. um, and you can choose to cancel or this descriptions or not if you want. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you break down the numbers, the math, you, you stand to save a little bit, a couple of bucks over the mm-hmm. course of, of the two year contract. Again, it's an option for people who don't have the resources to pay for all this stuff up front right. and want to maybe just test out the ecosystem. I'm sure they, they're going to have to implement some sort of way for people mm-hmm. to get out of it if they don't want to continue mm-hmm. it or whatnot. Mm-hmm. It, it is what it is. Um, mm-hmm. I think it's a great option. I think again, if, if there's talk about difficulty getting xbox consoles into homes this mm-hmm. is another way to get that and again what they really want is for you to be invested in game pass in some way shape, or form whatever platform you're on so i think it's great i think it's great mm-hmm. all right so here we are you know this uh xbox live all access thing yes. going on so low much i know you was holding on to some uh thoughts yeah. about this so let's get you right into the mix what did you think about this announcement this rumor hasn't been officially unveiled by xbox but right. the sources are pretty strong shout out to uh, jess corden from windows central friend yes. of the show and yes. also um i want to shout out tom warren who also was the one i believe who tweeted it before that something like this rumors was coming down the pipe so mm-hmm. lord mooch Xbox All Access. Where are you at with this? So Xbox All Access is is for me. For me, it's it's not it's not for me because we've already I'm already there, right? We've already got the X in hand. We're we're playing, we're enjoying right now. But this is a great thing. And where I want to add the value is now what we're reading on the top layer. You got to kind of peel it back a little bit and look a little deeper to what Microsoft is thinking. And me and Xbox 448, we were kind of talking about this on Crossfire, mm-hmm. where it you can have something that's consumer friendly. Mm-hmm. And something that's good for the good for the business too. You know what I mean? And that's what Microsoft's trying to do here. They're really trying to balance the scales. So mm-hmm. hear me out. 
Game Pass, okay, as it currently stands, and I understand it's getting good press right now. Yeah. But Game Pass needs to do a few things right now mm -hmm. to make it what we think it can be. And that is day and date mm -hmm. third party games. Now, everyone mm -hmm. says that, but they don't explain it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I realize we're not going to get GTA 6 in there. I understand <laughs> that. That ain't coming. Okay. <laughs> that they, the they don't need that money. They got their own money. Good. But. When you have games like Metro Exodus, okay, mm. or you have games that came out like The Evil Within 2, which mm. three and a half weeks after it came out dropped half price, mm. okay? These are games that Microsoft needs to be able to go to the table with a bargaining chip and say, we need to have your game in Game Pass day and date. Now, let me explain. That doesn't hurt the PlayStation consumer. It doesn't hurt the PC consumer. And it does not hurt the consumer that is not in Game Pass. It's an Xbox fan. It's mm -hmm. an option for people that are already paying a $10 a month subscription mm -hmm. to feel like they have something, okay, worthy of keeping that subscription. Now, you might say, well, how are they going to do it? The only way Microsoft can do it is by showing these third-party companies and publishers, okay, that mm -hmm. they have the butts in the seats, mm -hmm. okay? Now, yep. how do you do that? Here's how you do it. You sure. shove Game Pass down our throat in a very consumer-friendly way way and mm -hmm. xbox all access if this does end up being true and come to fruition right with the 22 or 35 dollar a month option depending mm -hmm. on if you want the s or the x mm -hmm. is going to come to your home for 20 20 what is it 35 dollars plus shipping and handling mm -hmm. to your home with game pass now the minute you hit accept and you download that you're now a number a tally for microsoft and that is where you're going to see that Game Pass right now is gaining some ground, but it's not substantial enough. It is right. not substantial enough to go to the bargaining table and talk to Bethesda and say, when you come out with your new game, it's got to be in Game Pass. They're going to go, the hell I do. But once you take all these people that are now going to go a la carte and do it this way, and don't say it's not going to work. Of course it's going to work. Because anybody on Christmas right now, if this does come true, you're telling me that a parent for $35, okay, can have their kid wake up christmas morning mm. and have right have an x under the tree a hundred plus games with their some great third party support right now and xbox live to play with their friends the minute they open that box yes. that is very consumer friendly it's going right. to be it's going to be like a tidal wave this christmas mm -hmm. and number two microsoft now has millions of more people that they can show Engagement. these publishers that mm -hmm. they have people they have butts in the seats mm -hmm. that is how you can get an mm -hmm. e you know futuristic evil within three okay or maybe a, a metro exodus mm -hmm. that that game's gonna be gorgeous but guess what mm -hmm. it's not gonna do great it's coming out right in between anthem and all these other great games that are coming out mm -hmm. like realistically metro would do great in game pass mm -hmm. but so but but right now the metro folks if, if this lord's panel right now we mm -hmm. were actually the publishers mm -hmm. we'd be like we're not doing that right. no i want to make the 60 dollars per sale at target walmart everywhere but if right. i know that microsoft's going to give me a cut every time somebody hits that download button mm -hmm. now you're talking when you show me that 10 million people have game pass now my ears are open because yeah, there's a percentage of people that are going to just download it for no other reason just to say that i can because i paid for game pass and Fair that enough. my friend right. is the and, um, okay, okay you have both you I'm in the camp of throw it in the bushes, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna explain why I'm in the camp of throw it in the oh, bushes. Anti, all right? anti no, uh -oh. no, 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 no. I'm not anti. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. All right, because I had my timeline went ridiculous yesterday. You would, you would have thought that Microsoft took a baby and threw it off the roof. Um, and I said, I've never seen so many Sony fans in terrible fear. <laughs> In my whole life, I mean, I'm talking about terrible fear mm -hmm. of the fact that they're at the precipice of doing something phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The reason why I say uh, at this point, um, it's uh, it's it's why not going to be as person? viable. It, let me explain it, why it's not going to be as viable mm -hmm. as some may say. I want it for the next generation going forward. Don't push. These systems here. Well, selfishly, get, I want that for Scarlet. I ain't gonna lie. No, I, yeah, I feel <laughs> you. Yeah, but, day one on that all access if it's Scarlet. <laughs> exactly, mm -hmm. but these systems is coming. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can Trojan horse the Scarlet, mm -hmm. the, the let's say, and and not the hard base system, mm -hmm. the the Trojan horse system, the Come system on, that you can pack the right, system? the cloud mm -hmm. streaming system, mm -hmm. where you can get all that stuff because you're not gonna sell a system at a loss, right? Mm -hmm. 
You want to actually make some form of profit. These numbers that people are throwing around, I absolutely see no profit margin being made for Microsoft off the system at right. all. You want to at least, you know, when you sell, I don't, I, you, we, we buy cell phones and if we purchase the cell phone flat out, we're good. But if we do these little plans, you don't notice that yeah, you're actually interest. paying mm -hmm. a little bit more, more on mm -hmm. your interest. Right. Yeah, absolutely. The interest yes, is well, stretching I'll upgrade, out. Upgrade my Galaxy to the nine, from eight to the nine. Exactly. I do that there you time. go. You pay more the, long term. So you're right. Microsoft is not necessarily see, profiting off I, of this. It's not a big That's why I'm profit. throwing it in bushes because mm -hmm. y'all keep playing with these numbers like somebody sat in the boardroom and <laughs> was like, yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're going to do. No, that's not exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> When I can see them making a profit off of the hardware, mm -hmm. because they don't make hardware for free and they're not trying to give it to you for free. They want to make a little right. something off it because we're giving yes. it to you ahead of time, bro. Mm -hmm. So listen, if I give anybody something ahead of time, I want 10 cents on a dollar. That's how I'm mm -hmm. going to make my money. Mm -hmm. But they want to make some form of profit. So don't mm -hmm. look at this. I see $49.99 mm -hmm. uh, for the X. Something like that. I can see that. I can see that 35 for the S. I can see that. But that $22 that everybody, I'm throwing $22 in the bushes. And I'm throwing $22 in the bushes hardcore. So don't, don't, don't look for that. Yo, get that out of your head. Don't, that's $22 is not realistic at mm -hmm. all. $22 well, might be for the Scarlet. Well, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, we got we got an OG in the chat real quick. I got I got to say he's making a good point. He wants to talk to King. He said hardware yeah. doesn't make a company money. He was like that has been mm -hmm. how things worked in the past. He said they make it up with the right. soft, software and the services. So th their whole thing is his whole point is towards like engagement and just I the know, fact that more Phil, people. Are I know who did that for you, Phil. <laughs> of wants course, the engagement numbers. Mm -hmm. I know he wants Game Pass and Xbox Live in your house. Mm -hmm. I know he wants Xbox Live on your phone, yep. on your tablet. I know he wants Game Pass on your phone, on yep. your tablet. He doesn't care where you game. He just wants you to Tim. game on his platform. Listen, mm -hmm. though, King, I King, if I, bundle. King yeah. I, do, I, wanted to, I wanted to mention to King, though, one thing also. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to, uh, what is it, Next Level Gaming there. Yeah, He's right. He's 100% mm -hmm. right with the software. But let me, just, let me just make some dollars and cents for you with the hardware, too, with mm -hmm. the 22 and the 35. Mm -hmm. Here's mm -hmm. the thing. The minute you take, use a car, for example. You buy a fifty thousand dollar car. The minute you sign your name, right, and we start paying those monthly fees, the minute those tires, the minute those tires roll off money. the lot, that car is twenty five thousand dollars. Yep. But you're still paying on it like it's fifty thousand dollars. Hear me out. Yeah. Let's get to what we're talking about with the hardware. Every single day that goes by, they're getting these components cheaper and cheaper. Yep. These numbers on the third. Let's just use the Xbox One one, the thirty five or the X, yep. thirty five dollars. When you map that out. It basically comes to the cost of the X, right? right? Legit. So hear me out. Legitimately, over the course of two years, they are making money on you on the hardware because they are right. making this thing cheaper as the day yep. goes on. But you're still paying for it like that it's a $500 console. Right. So they are still making money. This is the thing that people got to realize. So a lot of people that were anti this, like you said, they were kind of giving shade yesterday. Oh, Those bro. Kind of? That, Right, well, yeah, you saw it. You saw it. Right. Mm -hmm. Those folks that were doing that, they were saying, wait a second. This they were saying that that's a negative. What I'm right. saying is those people that were throwing the shade were actually mm -hmm. correct. Right. Microsoft is making that money. Because let's be honest, no matter mm -hmm. who is smiling at you when you do business, when you hand them over that $20, they're making some money on you. So yeah. they're gonna make money on this, and mm -hmm. that's where it holds water. First of all, what what uh the original NLG is saying mm -hmm. is hundred percent right. You know, shout mm -hmm. out. He's 100% right. They, they want the you, right? Sting mm -hmm. wants you. He's right. You want to make the money off of the software. Mm -hmm. But realistically, they are making money off the hardware because as that value mm -hmm. continues to diminish, they're still charging you top, top mm -hmm. price. So mm -hmm. ultimately, okay. it's a win for the consumer because it becomes a monthly, forget about it, $35 that we all mm -hmm. pay 35 for something. Listen, if you have HBO Go and Hulu, bam. You're already uh, at an Xbox yeah. One S, right? <laughs> yeah, so bro. boom, you're already there. So what I'm saying to you is like mm -hmm. people that I said this years ago with the a la carte nonsense. People like, cut right. the cord, cut the cord. I'm like, don't cut mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep my cord intact. And if you cut it, I'll splice it. <laughs> okay. I, I love my cord. My point Thanks. is this. So like the matter of fact is I think everybody in this panel and the hardcore, whether they're in favor or not, the hardcore gamer is not really going to buy into this. Right. This is really want, not for us. But it's, for, right it's for the mass public. Right. Right. It's the mass public. Yes, for them right. casuals, baby. So get some casual I want to get, get Addict and Solving because definitely Addict, I'm very curious about this for him. You know, 
I what do you what do you feel about this announcement? The I Xbox think that, you know, they are looking at the software. I think that they plan on making money from that. Last time I checked the original Xbox, uh, mm. if I remember correctly, they make like thirty five dollars every unit. That sounds yeah. about right. Yeah. So even yeah. if they, you know, because if you if you do the math, they're losing twenty dollars for two years of all this services. Mm -hmm. uh, they so they're still making. Uh, I don't know about the X. Uh, I, I assume that it would be around the same. I don't think twenty dollars, even if you take off what they make off the X, mm -hmm. the S, or even the original Xbox, which they, you know they're not going to do the original Xbox. But mm -hmm. uh, those Let two. It die. I don't think they're making any money. Uh, I don't think they're losing money. They might not be gaining as much money from the console, but I think what they're really looking at is like, mm -hmm. okay, we'll give them a twenty dollar discount for two years. Mm -hmm. We'll get a customer that is locked down locked that he has to have these services. It's the ecosystem. Let's be real here. It's a big deal. Yeah. Someone buys a console, you might get them for one service. Mm -hmm. You might Xbox Live or Game Pass. You might get one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you'll get two, depending depending if they enjoyed the trial. But when you get these people locked in for two years for all three, they're paying pretty much all three of these services, and you're just taking a twenty dollar difference, and you're making more money in the long run Absolutely. because yep. you're getting these people to consistently stay on these. And after mm -hmm. I, I used to do Dish, mm -hmm. people don't mm -hmm. like change. After that, t after that ends up, they'll mm -hmm. pay the extra money for Gold and uh, Game Pass just to keep what they're used to for the last two years. That's mm -hmm. right. Yep. Yeah. No, fair, fair enough. So I want you to jump in because I got a lot to say. <laughs> so what you I, got, man, with this I whole just, thing? I just think, I, again, it's a, it's another option, like Mooch said, and I completely agree. Like over the course of, of the, that two years, mm -hmm. they're going to be making money off of you. Any Anybody who ever think there was a lot of arguments going, uh, like King was saying, like mm -hmm. – People pissed off that what happens? It's drawing people into into um these long contracts that they they're not going to be able to yeah, afford. That's what people are saying. Saying this is not financially so responsible. When when in the his never in the history of ever have you paid for something over the course of a long period of time and paid less for it? It doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, like oh, when the, when, when the price drop, what what about exactly. my payment change? What the hell is wrong with you? If like, you what the, really the hell is wrong with you? A like, payment plan is punishment for not having the money up front. That's what it is. That's all yeah. it is. But let's get let's get yeah. to the fun though. So what happens if you don't make a payment? <laughs> oh right. yeah, the police they, 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 they bang your credit. They <laughs> bang your, it okay, is. first of all, let's 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 and I, I want Sovereign to, to chime in on this one point right here because <laughs> This is not for you guys that's out here with bad credit that think you're gonna finesse something. You're not mooching nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying you mooch got bad credit. credit. No, I'm not saying mooch got bad credit. credit. I'm me. saying <laughs> I said don't don't listen to mooch thinking you gonna finesse this one. No, this is not gonna happen if you no. got bad credit. You can't right? mooch. You can because... let him show up and slap you with those white gloves. <laughs> exactly. No. Nope. So can't what's gonna that. happen is you need good credit going in. All right. This is not for that 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 student who has the 540 credit score who think he's going to go in and slide that card and make it happen. <laughs> Your console going to get towed. I'm dead. <laughs> They're going to put a boot on it. going to put a boot on your yeah. controller. <laughs> 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 Yo, you're gonna go and pick up your controller. It's gonna have a boot on the analog. <laughs> uh, but like realistically, we would assume that Microsoft has to have precautions in place. Oh, like no, there has to be something on the account level Chris. and on the hard hardware level to prevent you from if you try to finesse and get out yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Get out there. This, going, this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna send you a nice cordial email saying that they have not received your payment for that <laughs> month yet. If payment does not come through, you're gonna see your services stopped, and you're going to get a bill in the mail for the right. entire rest of of what you right. owe on that console. Right. Now, yeah. I'm not pay that advocate. down. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Something. This is what I'm saying. People are saying this is some of the stuff I'm seeing on Twitter. Predatory. Like, this is predatory. Listen. That they're, if, that <laughs> Putting young kids in a bad situation. This, I'm I it, young I've kids. heard. I've heard young. There's no young kid that has a credit card. That, that, yeah, that, like yeah, that I, I don't said. see. I don't That's see true. my son I've purchasing heard, an Xbox. I've heard the argument that this puts poor people in a position where they think they can afford this and they can't. Listen, if you're poor, and by the definition of poor, meaning <laughs> you, there are certain basic necessities that you have a problem getting in this life. Then the least of your problems is how you're gonna get an Xbox One X. Like you need to worry, right? You need to worry about a roof over your head right. and food in your mouth. 
Like yes. the least of your problems is, oh, how am I gonna play this Gears of War Five? Like how am I gonna? Do that? <laughs> like, it's a stupid argument. Like it really is a ridiculous <laughs> argument. <laughs> it is a ridiculous <laughs> argument, and like like anything else, if you have you know whatever, like mm-hmm. eighteen year olds, nineteen year olds, twenty year olds that get you know get you get access to a credit card, your first credit card, whatnot. This mm-hmm. is stuff that parents still need to be monitoring. When I got yeah. my first credit card, I thought I was slick. I got my first credit card, and I went mm-hmm. right to KB Toy Stores and bought. <laughs> a, I bought a PlayStation. With like an extra control, that was my first PlayStation. I got everything, and my dad was like, "Oh, how's that PlayStation?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "You know, I got the letter saying that you got the credit card." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. you're not, you're not fooling anybody. Like th- these things need to be monitored by parents, and if absolutely. you're not doing that, like there's a problem with you. Like absolutely, yo, let me jump in for. <laughs> Cause this is a good one. Man. <laughs> I've had so much fun watching, you know, the whole thing. I mean, this thing. Let's be real. Like, I'm gonna shout out a Lord or Dan McCullough. We had a had an Xbox Live on last week, and he kind of gave us some foreshadowing that either some yeah. pricing or some change. So shout out to him, man. He's an excellent. Please watch that LP if you missed it. And um, you know, the whole thing is, I think this was right on time. You know, it's a great and super con- consumer friendly move. We can't like, ignore that, right? You know, as far as this point, we have to say Microsoft is just dominating as far as services and it's all about engagement for them. They want people on Xbox Live, like Laura Moutra saying, they want butts in the seat. They want to mm-hmm. show these devs, look, this is where the gamers are. They're yes. here, they're playing that. And again, my and it's, again, it's more chance for spending. So my only question is obviously the availability though, because at the end of the day, the rumor is out right now. But from what I hear, I want to shout out some some good friends. Just Gordon, we shouted you out. Um, Xbox Two ran in my dudes. From what I hear, this is Microsoft Store only. Now, if it remains yeah. that, I have a problem. Me too. At the end of the day, look at the the amount of stores in the United States. It's not that they haven't penetrated <laughs> the market. Now, unless they offer it online, or the other magic word, which I don't know if it's going to happen, is retail. But the problem I see with that is what does GameStop and, you know, Target have to benefit from offering this service? Like, they're not getting a cut, right? right. So, to me, they've got well, to I think the reason they did it last time, well, the reason they would do it this time, is a lot of people will go in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it will probably go depending on, you know, what kind of credit you have. If you have any kind of down payment or anything like right. that. And a lot of people are probably going to pick up a game alongside with this. They're, they're just not going to pick up the console. There's itself. a possibility. They would have mm. to work out mm-hmm. some type of arrangement <laughs> for guys like GameStop, Best Buy, Target <laughs> to say, hey, I'm going to do this. What's up, kid? Because you're laughing. <laughs> no, I'm laughing because what I was seeing yesterday, people was acting like, well, you can only stream games. I'm like... It- Dummy, it has a disc tray in the front. Yeah, it's the like it's you, the can, you can you can yeah, this is, this buy is games and, put, and yeah. put it in. This right? is you, you 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 do what know that this physical disc that you can put inside your box, right? <laughs> so the the fact is that yeah, they're gonna purchase games. This is just extra. This is right. options, See, this is but options. this is not for a person mm-hmm. that only has $35 left in his budget a month and is right. going to try to make right. this happen. This right. ain't a make it happen situation. This <laughs> ain't a make it happen <laughs> Listen, I'm I gotta make it happen. And again, like I said, uh, I just want to reiterate in order for this thing, look, I'm excited. I think it's great. You know what I'm saying? I think it's another option. I'm just thinking about myself. Like, I, you know, we make all of us make pretty decent money. So at the end of the day, like, I, I, I can buy a Galaxy phone if I want outright. But sometimes you don't want that up for a cost, right. right? You just that's want right. to say, you know what? Eh, I don't need to put down $800. And these phones are like $800. Right? I, I want to say it? this, though. I want to say up? this. I already see this is how my brain works. I already mm-hmm. got the finesse. And this is this is sad, mm-hmm. but what my fear is somebody's getting somebody's credit card mm-hmm. and they order an Xboxes <laughs> with this service, and and they on eBay and you you selling these They're bricked not gonna, up you ain't Xboxes. Be able to do that. <laughs> All right, so I know Microsoft is working on ways to to, to yeah. don't allow that to happen I'm, because I'm, 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 do you go by the serial number. Yeah, it's got to be. Do you remember that button. thing with the PlayStation 2 and you was able to get it from Blockbuster? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Listen, I yeah. remember one thing we got to give credit on Microsoft. And like I said, again, shout out to Lord McCullough that we had. Like, you know, as far as security protocols and the things that they do, as far as that, they're pretty strong. 
strong. We haven't had yeah. any type of breaches, kind of like, you know, was it the PS3 era where it was like the source code was like at the front of the door and people were just able to get in and break it loose. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to give Microsoft that. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, I just want to see if they can get it out to more things outside of the Microsoft store. Yeah, and know, plus... And but and the what, other thing I want to see is how it's enforced, right? Well, we got to see what happens if you don't pay and that, you know, if it, it's the credit aspect. Well, well, what, what, what's going to happen is, first off, though, uh, I guarantee you uh, they're yeah. going to require some kind of credit card up front to put on the file. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll run that credit card, which you can always, you know, cancel the credit card. Right. right. Uh, and if you if that doesn't work, they'll send you an email or a bill saying how much you have left. Mm -hmm. And if you don't pay, they'll hit your credit. That's literally all they can do. That's literally now, all. They can do. And also, what if we have options? Will be cool too. Let's just say, do you think they'll offer? I'm asking this a little much. Do you think they will offer a situation? Let's say you're paying your 35 a month. You're getting your X, right? Do you think there'll be a situation where, let's say, you come across tax time, you come across some bread, right? So now. Do you think you can just pay it off like a credit card bill and get them out of your life? Yeah, or, there's no uh, interest on it. Isn't there no interest? There's no interest. Right, yeah, so right, right now, now there's no interest. interest. I think yeah. when it's actually announced, there's going to be interest. Like mm -hmm. because well, it's here. Because the, well, listen, because at the end of the two years, it ends up being pretty much a wash, anyways. Right. You can go ahead if you come in with some extra, like you're saying, come in with extra bread. You can just go ahead and pay it out. Yeah. Right. But, 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 but the question is, do you think they'll offer that, or do no. they? they they may no, want to lock you in for the two years. Contract. You no. just have to pay your contract. Up. Yeah, you just pay the you can pay the contract in full if you, you want. Get, but, yeah, you yeah. won't get no discount or anything. No. Like that, no. Okay. No. 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 Here's, here's, the, here's, here's the thing, and I and I don't want to you know segue into your next subject, you know, Cognito. Mm -hmm. But realistically, we got to talk about it since it does pertain to all access. Because yeah. what King is what King is actually laughing about, which he's right to. Okay, mm -hmm. is all the nonsense that he's reading right now about mm -hmm. the ridiculous, right? But this is amazing, right? I'm listening to y'all and I'm reading the chat. At the same time, <laughs> Jay Fonzer really got me over here dead. He is he <laughs> done. Fire. on fire. He is right on now. fire right now. But, he like, is, you know, I think Xbox missed a golden opportunity by not mm. talking about this while they had the entire got stage you. to themselves at Gamescom. No, Why I hear what you're saying. Bring this up because you got point. all of us, right? Look at what we're doing right now. Just the five of us alone, we've come up with six different scenarios. <laughs> the chat's going off on a tangent. Internet's going wild. People are like, is right. it going to have a disc tray? Of course it's going to have a disc tray. Like, <laughs> what are we talking gonna about? The disc tray from they had the whole thing. They're going to take that away from you. Right? Yo, the had disc the tray won't be on that streaming system, though. No, it won't be. <laughs> And I think that's that's the that's the most exciting part about this is if this is successful, do they push it day and date with the new consoles oh, coming out? Oh, if, if, I were, if I were a betting oh, man, I would do. say there's a good chance that it's on the next consoles. Mm -hmm. But here, here's the thing with Tamucha's point. I hear what you say. It would have been the most perfect yes. bomb, right? Yes. But the only issue is, from my understanding, because it's U.S. only, they didn't want to announce it there. That's there, the that, only, ooh, all right. And then another but you know in Germany, they, stu bad. they subsidize systems in Germany at this point right mm -hmm. now, right? But I think at yeah. this point, they're just not ready for that market, yeah. and they want to debut it here where they have the Microsoft stores, they have the footprint. From what I'm understanding, it kind of got out when it, they weren't ready. It's, it's not like if they did it during an in, inside Xbox show, like people start throwing tomatoes at, like, you know, <laughs> AC Bongo. Germans might be upset. <laughs> they might, you know, like, listen, it may be low-key that that that's disrespectful if you have yeah. that conference in another country and you start talking about features only in the <laughs> other country <laughs> like, hey, yeah, like yo box. we got this new it's, feature it's, it's that won't be like, come okay to you got stuff for them what you got for us right exactly. i mean don't give me i know yeah, like, you guys are yeah, the white gloves I, I think realistically when you have that much media attention right. and you've got so many people watching because there's nothing from gamescom until possibly what e3 nothing yeah. Why now? Here's what's going to end up happening. So they're going to miss that stage event, right? They had oh, a lot. And I'm not West. talking about. They get, there is PAX West. They could probably do it. That's true. Mm -hmm. But realistically, yeah, you miss that big that stage, yeah, and you're going to have a bunch of people. There's going to be a bunch of people just taking this information and running with it and mm -hmm. saying, like, not factual propaganda. But right. isn't, isn't that the best part of how this internet and this, this, uh, this, this the Twitter and all this stuff is working? Mm -hmm. We're doing the legwork for them. Absolutely. They're testing the Absolutely. water and they're seeing the temperature of the room. Man. They really want to see if Sony dudes is real. These Sony dudes heads are exploding right now yeah. because PlayStation is not going to offer this. 
You got you if you don't have your five hundred, four hundred dollars up front, you are not getting one. Right. But if Microsoft just told you you walk in the store with your social security card and thirty five dollars and you walk in <laughs> with the service and the package, how many people is gonna be on Xbox? How does it switch the narrative from I don't have five right mm. now because I actually gotta buy milk and diapers for my kids, but mm-hmm. I do got this thirty five dollars though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and thirty five for hundred and fifty games. Come on, man, who's there? Shout they out to Lord Tom, yeah, Tom, the chat, man, editor. He basically saying like, look, X, X, Xbox absolutely need need to have another event around the holidays. Yeah, and maybe are. a reveal, a couple of things at the Game Awards. So that's a possibility. Yeah. Like, could going be. on. Anybody saw if you got anything on your talk, uh, your topic before you move? I mean, we just, got a lot to get to more today. Like real quick, uh, something that Moose mentioned. I mm-hmm. there was speculation before Gamescom that actually Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Metro would be day and day on yeah. Game Pass. Mm-hmm. It wasn't completely debunked, but much like the the announcement of this, much yeah. like the announcement of the the Elite Controller Two that sort of got pushed mm-hmm. back. This is still a possibility. It was a rumor, mm-hmm. so nobody said it's absolutely not happening. So. They might be a little too close for for Tomb Raider. I know a lot of people have already pre-ordered Tomb Raider. It, it would suck if the if it's then in game. <laughs> um, but Metro, it's still it, 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 a possibility. It, it game fast. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, cancel it. Microsoft's gonna be like, we're not doing refunds on that one particular <laughs> game. <laughs> so they might have already had those conversations. That could be in the works. And secondly, my overall point to this, I think this is just all a Trojan horse for Game Pass. Even yes. live, I think yes. at some point live yes. gets completely. Yeah. Folded into Game Pass, and so what's Please. our favorite word? Engagement, engagement, baby. Yes. And they want you engaged with Game Pass. That's and, what they and I want. I want to say that. Like people are going in on this. Like you know, I, I've seen this is the craziest thing that Microsoft's ever done that I've mm-hmm. seen get this much attention over nothing. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like look, like at the end of the day. People mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, there, there's not a market for this. Uh, people are there. They're acting like this hasn't been done for like 15 years. There's Renaissance. Yeah. There's, right. there's Figure Hut. Yeah, they're what was they're right. acting like they didn't do it last gen. Yeah, like, yeah, they, yeah, they did it last gen. gen. Like, yeah, and yeah. plus, like, you know, you go through something like those other ones, you're probably mm-hmm. paying like $60, $70 for more on top. Because the numbers went went down. We, we, Because what you're doing, you're paying like forty dollars, then you're paying like thirty dollars in interest every. But we're all forgetting this is strictly, strictly an option. Listen, if yeah. I, if, if we're all, if we're all out, right, we're all out at the game. We're all out at the game. We all pull out. You pull out your Samsung. You pull out your iPhone. I, I don't care nor need to know if you're paying that forty five dollars a month for that phone, or if you Facts. plunk down nine hundred dollars. That's only all I'm looking at. Is I'm like, yo, nice phone. Right. Exactly. I mean, like, nope. realistically, just, it's an option. It, it shouldn't mm-hmm. affect anybody. At all. I mean, that doesn't, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't, Mm -hmm. you know, like, I just want to point out, it's not like, like, even like someone like, you know, if I anticipate it, I could save up money between now and the next gen console comes out. I could still get a day one. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it from this standpoint, as long as right now we have, we have no thoughts of interest because that that hasn't been linked if there's any interest right for it's right still, now from what we know like, no but it's, it's not still beneficial yet. to you to do this even if you can pay it all up front because mm-hmm. you're not even say you're not even wait you're saving money in anyway as long mm-hmm. as you want all three of those services the mm-hmm. xbox the game pass and xbox live which almost everyone here has xbox live at least yeah like you're saving twenty dollars, so you're technically saving money by paying off. That's I don't think I've ever seen that, and I it's like I I, I agree with King. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think there's going to be some type of interest it on it, be. but it better be. I mean, I listen, think, I, I listen. I love Microsoft and all that, bro. If I'm in that boardroom. And you tell me well, we you gonna got lose twenty dollars? You got King on us quick, bro. I'm but so at the sorry, end of the day, Mister. I don't think I'm I, friendly, but bro. I, at the end of the day, I think that their number one thought process right now is we might take even if they take it, which I don't even think they will. They might not make as much money off the consoles as they normally would, right? But they're still but making stuff. as long as they're not making a negative. I don't think they care because right. yep. they're going to take a little cut off their consoles, but they're going to broaden the, the horizon when it comes to Game Pass. You're going to have millions of people probably that's on Game Pass that wouldn't have been on Game Pass. Funny. They're going to be tweeting it. Like, I think that's their bigger picture. They're not yeah, caring they about care the about. little $20 they lose. Mm-hmm. They're wanting the overall perception that yeah. everyone has the long this game. game. The long game. I just want to say this last thing on yeah. this topic. Come on, we're beating it. 
I love the fact that they're losing. Oh, because you get all the consumer friendly I, stuff. <laughs> brother, you don't do this from a position of winning. You do the eye gouging, True. the groin punching, the air pulling, the, the air biting <laughs> from a position of losing. Yep. Yeah, Microsoft, second, we're not losing, but second place. Because they're still bro, doing that's, they're if you ain't first place, you losing. <laughs> um, all right. I don't there's no such thing. You know, if you're not first place, you're the you're the first loser. All right. And I want you to understand if you, they're not willing to get dirty, that's not a company I'm willing to stand behind. I want you to pull hair. I want you to punch people in the throats. I want you to get in there and win. And these dudes is going for the juggler with they telling you we're bundling our systems, we're bundling all our services, right. we want to get you in mm -hmm. right now. Right. Those numbers is going to shoot up. Absolutely. $35 is for real. Listen, they're, just, they're prepping themselves for the next gen, man. And that, that's, right. at the end People of the day, that's what it's about. $35. And, so. Yeah, and at the end of the day, competition, as we all know, is we've been around long enough to understand, competition mm -hmm. is good. The gamer... Yes. Benefits. Let's move on because we beat that thing to death. We gotta finish this up, man. <laughs> Yo, Lord Attic, man. Gamescom, let's go. So, I wanted to really, you know, Gamescom just happened. A lot of Xbox got a lot of feedback over the, you know, <laughs> when it comes to. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Continue. He's laughing about his Xbox. <laughs> but uh, they, they got a lot of feedback over their Xbox. So I just want to make this, you know, pretty short because obviously I don't want to run over too, too much. But, yeah, we go, uh, do you think that Microsoft is the reason that they're failing in um, areas such as, um, hold up, the reason that they're failing in areas such as, you know, anywhere out of the United States, they don't take anything else serious mm. but e3 like do you think that maybe because i mean let's be real gamescon is actually bigger than e3 but they don't even really do anything at e3 uh, at gamescom mm. uh, they don't go to paris game show they don't go to tokyo game show pretty much they don't have really presence in any of these mm -hmm. do you think they do you think that might be one of the reasons that they're losing worldwide and what's your thought on the inside xbox no doubt let's start with lord mooch i know he's got a lot to say in this yeah, I mean, as far as I said this last week, I'll say it again. Gamescom has turned into nothing more than a 350,000 foot traffic arcade. Uh, right. They, there's there's no, I mean, God bless. They, they could make this what it what it was, was it used to be the second coming of E3. Yes. But there's no more announcements. The announcements that are made are stuff that we've already heard about for weeks or a bundle we don't care about. Um, inside Xbox is what it is. You know, I mean, we, we kind of got to talk about that. Yeah, I don't absolutely. think, you know, if you want a great inside Xbox on an A through F scale, the best one we've seen is a C minus. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it yeah. is what it is, right? Real it, talk. It, and, Real talk. and I'm not saying they shouldn't do it, but I mean, realistically, here's where I'm at with inside Xbox. People write me all the time. Hey, Mooch, what are you, you going to be watching or checking out inside Xbox? I'm at the point right now is if I can, I will. But right. I certainly am not moving anything in my schedule for it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I feel you. I should have took your advice. I should have. <laughs> I told right. I told you, man. What's funny is Laura Cognito told me that morning, man. I, they they, they move in different than they usually do. I, I got fooled. Up and watch Ooh, it. I got fooled. They fooled I, you. I, I was like. It's Gamescom. And then, you know, Nelson's talking about it, and then they got the little, remember they had the little sign made yes. in new hardware? Yeah. Oh, They're like, oh, oh this might be something different. I got caught out there, Mooch. I, I, man, this is, I can't blame really you. After Gamescom is like, I'm done. I'm yep. going to bed. I That's messed it. up. That's it. <laughs> I laughed because so, I knew they was trolling. <laughs> they really are at this point. They're trolling all of us. And realistically, like I, I always joke around, like one of my like favorite employees that Microsoft has is actually AC Bongos. Oh, but I give him a little guy. shit. I love him. Great dude. But realistically, great. they they don't they don't give that man the right platform. I mean, did you see him? They literally brought he went from the UK over to Germany just to show off some Xbox socks. I'm like, what the hell? Give something for AC to do in the corner over there. He's yeah. over there promoting their. I, I don't yeah. like all access. I think that the the EA whatever oh, that that stupid thing that inside Xbox. they need to throw that in the yeah, throw it inside a, uh, Xbox in the I bushes. I mean, that's gotta go. Just, I, don't gotta think go. I, don't I don't think it needs, I don't think it needs I, to go. But I see. What you're I, I think what it needs to do is they need to consolidate it. They need to make it shorter. They need yes. to sweet point in it. We all beat this horse to death. Yeah. Yeah. Models, no, King, those models. King, 
it needs, they to, be, keep it needs it. to be a direct, like a Nintendo. Yes. I don't yes. want to see. I don't want to yes. see people. I don't. Forty-five. See yeah, forty-five minutes. I don't yes. record it. Preach. Set it out. Let's just Preach. use that money wisely. Okay. Right. Stop having yes. all these people on there. The only time I would say that that needs to be longer is like mm -hmm. E3 or Gamescom. If you want to make like an hour, like E3 and a half, is different. That's yeah. fine. E3 is different, but I agree with Mooch, man. It's got to be boom, 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 trailer, trailer, information, in and out, get, in and out, get the information, yes. and that's it. And, Did and you it's see it has two, to be like a see? man shopping. Yes. Like yes. right now, yes. and, and this is no disrespect. Mm -hmm. When I go shopping with my daughters, mm -hmm. their heads are in the clouds. Like, what's going on? Like, this is the first time we're in the store. Right. When I go with my son, I see the impatientness in his eyes. He's like, yo, daddy, let's get it. Let's Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. No, finish up. You know, when, I was, when I was a kid and I was walking through the mall to use King's ex ex example, like yeah. I'm sitting there, every mall now has got couches and chairs in the middle of the oh, hallway. Oh, yes. yeah. Who's it's hanging real. around? Why? No. <laughs> like yeah, I got to like, get what why? I got to get. I got my list in my head. I know what I got to do. I got to get out. Yeah. Right. And you're right. My son, when it comes to you go to shop with your son, your son's like, are we leaving yet? I'm like, I got yes. one more thing. We got to get out of here. Yes. You know, yes. and you strategically park the car next to the last store so you get the hell out of there. So I like, thought I was the only person that did that. No, <laughs> we're the same. When you said that, my eyes opened. I said, "This is exactly what I'm like." Realistically, you're getting back to it. These are two hours. And, and out, They're yeah. bringing the dev out. Yeah. The dev is coming out. Half of them don't speak English, so yeah. we're all like, "And I'm not talking about the Germany thing." Like when they had the gentleman come on for the um the the new Walking Dead game. Yes. Okay, this was the one oh, prior to this uh, one. Mm -hmm. Man, was that hard to watch? I almost <laughs> felt like I committed a crime. And they said, "Mooch." Oh. What you got to do Man. for your penance is watch just this watch dude talk watch. about how he's making the game. And as I'm <laughs> sitting there, I just had that squint face on, like, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm like, why are you doing this to your customers? We don't care. And when they did that whole thing, <laughs> right? We yeah. don't care. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. You don't lie, Mooch. You love that part where they spent like 15 minutes telling you how they made the arcade. For <laughs> yes, you, you, you was about that Dave Listen, and Buster. You want to talk about the worst of the inside Xbox? The worst of the worst, I swear <laughs> to God, was when they did the State of Decay 2, and the people trying to break out of that, like like they oh, made that like no. that double yeah, dare that set. Live action. Oh. They had Mark Summers with a microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I got news for you, right? For, that's for all you old timers out there. They're like, <laughs> I know all right. That. He had the double dare set trying double to get out of time. And then when they were done, and I thought it was done, I tweeted out, I was like, thank God that's done. Then Larry comes on, he's like, yeah. and now we did it with the Xbox staff. I was like, oh no, oh. did it. Like Lucas says, not like this, Larry. Not like this. Not not like like this. this. <laughs> I can't defend that. Yeah. So, like, I was like, this is just uh, the whole thing was just like, I think inside Xbox definitely needs to be like direct. Make yeah. it 45 minutes, yes. make it short, get the info out. You want to show me bundles? Show me the bundles. Keep Larry's gloves mm. at home. For real. <laughs> Let me Would you off of Larry with these gloves, please? <laughs> Man, I can't take, but he keeps he's, like an old king. Mouse with white gloves. No. Yo, he, 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 <laughs> first of all, he brings class to it. That's the Van of White of the situation. <laughs> oh they are not the white, white, gloves. white gloves. Those gloves don't he even does. fit. <laughs> he does. Listen, that's his snick. That's his joint. That's his lane. Nobody's oh wearing God. white gloves like Larry. Come oh on, man. Let Larry wear white, white gloves. gloves at all. Uh -uh. I'm done. <laughs> Let me jump in because Mooch got me hype. Listen, man, I would. <laughs> this thing has to be condensed. At the end of the day, it has to. Listen, I want to be very clear, though. I am happy that it exists. I want to be very clear. Like, I don't want it to completely go away. I like that we get some information, although it feels more like a marketing product placement show right now at this point. That's All crazy. to me they got to do is shorten the joint. There was some positive. We got the PUBG 1.0 going official. We got my yeah, Master Chief collection. Announced. That was a big deal than people thought. Like, yeah, that was, a big was big really deal. Yeah, Master Chief collection in Game Pass. I know uh, what you call it. <laughs> Love what you care for the state of the case situation, but at least they had the daybreak <laughs> pack going on. You know what I'm saying? And the huge one for me personally was the um, was the super massive games that had that yeah, uh, that, man, uh, 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 man in or whatever it's called. Man of Maidan. Yeah. 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 It's, it's a three part series. Right. And that's from like the Until Dawn kind of style. Yeah. And I like that that's kind of them. stuff. Yeah, it's them. yeah that's They're them. Like the can't party, be, so. Yeah, it can't be humor. Who's going to live? Who's going to die? Like the horror, horror stuff. But yeah, the pacing is awful. Too much with the cringy jokes. And let's get to the elephant in the room. 
What's up with those bundles, man? I like, know. I'm so disappointed. Man. Another like, wasted opportunity. Like you, they, they are almost the kings of the night. Like remember when the gear consoles yeah. came out, the red it did all it, and yeah. then I'm just seeing these generic boxes with different stickers slapped on, and I'm like, mm -hmm. what is this? Cognito, I gotta oh. say, the reason why you're getting that mm -hmm. now. When we were getting the winning boxes, is right. because we were like close to winning. We're in mm -hmm. parity with the systems, and as the gap got wider, mm -hmm. so did the production on a uh, complete, like uh, uh, elaborate consoles. Mm -hmm. Now they're giving you a weird shade of color, like lime green, gray, uh -huh. some weird color with uh. Call of no Duty in the box. Custom styles. Can't, Nothing. You're not, even getting, like, and and I don't, his, you're not gonna get with, that. Inexcusable. You're though. Not gonna get but it. here's the thing. Yeah, because when you look over you know at Sony and you see that Spider-Man system, and you're oh, like, yeah, absolutely. Oh. absolutely. Or, or that but five the million system, and you're like, oh, they doing There's it. No excuse <laughs> for Forza Horizon Four not to have one. That's your Sorry, baby. Brother. That game I is think fantastic. That's, and I now, think that's gone like, this gen. What you think? I think it's gone this gen. Because of the losing factor. Oh, I see what you You think they're just not going to invest in that right now? Because Nobody of, in the marketing department is going to fund a situation where is you're not going to be in the league. Number one yeah. exclusive for the yeah. holidays. Like how can you? It don't you matter. Put, put yeah, but out. we got a box for you with the. It come in the box <laughs> with the sticker. <laughs> the controller yeah. might have a little logo, but we're not doing the uh, elaborate. I know you're used to that, uh, but when I'm, you were I'm, winning. Well, when let me ask you a question, Ken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is for the whole panel, but realistically, yeah. let's let's talk about custom consoles just as as a broad as a subject, yeah, okay? I don't care okay. whatsoever. <laughs> I, at the age we're all at, I can't have a fluorescent, shiny, <laughs> vertical standing console when you walk into the family room. I just can't do it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm uh, sitting here. I'm listen. I jump on the sword of the grenade for all of us gamers anytime and tell yeah. people, don't tell me you're gonna watch The Bachelor every night and I can't play video games. But okay, <laughs> but I certainly am not gonna have it when you walk into the family room. I'm gonna have all these consoles that are multicolored, all changed up, looking crazy. It don't work <laughs> like that when you get older. So hear me out. I am us. no, it's not. But here's the thing: I, mean, I am all about custom consoles when it comes to value. OK, right. And when it comes to value, the, I did go pick up the Gears Xbox oh, yeah. One S, right? Oh, yeah. but, but the second the X came out and I saw that some dude was like crazy who's got gears got tats up and down his back. He's like, I'll give you 400 for it. I was like, sold to that dude. <laughs> right. So, right. Yeah. So I'm doing the same thing right now. Yeah. I just got two hundred and fifty dollars credit at mm -hmm. GameStop mm -hmm. for my PS4 Pro. All right. Mm -hmm. My regular PS4 Pro. Nothing mm -hmm. fancy on it. To mm -hmm. up to the PS4 Pro Spider Man. I'm getting that Spider Man edition. Oh, it thank with, you. It's coming yeah. with the game. It's coming yeah. with the game, right? Yeah. So you take $400 yeah. minus the $65, which is what it is with tax in New York. Okay. Right. $65. Right. I'm buying that anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's already taking that thing down to about whatever, three, you know, 340 ish. Like right? right? 250 for my PS4 Pro. Dude, you're you're mutual, talking about for $100, less than $100. I'm going to walk out with this thing, and I know. Then I'm gonna get at least three hundred dollars for this thing and a trade in, when and I paid a hundred out of you, pocket. Yeah, when you get that PlayStation Five, yeah. thank you. I feel that. Now imagine if so, they had the Forza Horizon Four one, and they look real snazzy, and you, you catch think, somebody out. But that Forza Horizon Four one, they get you three fifty after market. <laughs> you know that's no, not happening. It, it, yeah, yeah, it's not no that. And, and you know what? That's my point exactly. <laughs> So you when, think it just came down to the, the title that it was? It just wasn't something sexy enough that they could kind of package? No, no. One of those things where, no, those things where they just I, like, you know what? It's, it's the end of the gen. We're not really focusing on this right now. We're kind of gearing up. Their, for, yeah, their, their yeah. ideas is not in the losing. They're in the losing position. Mm -hmm. Sony is lapping the bases. So mm -hmm. you can get extravagant with your dances. You can do dumb things around the bases as you're winning. So mm -hmm. you're like, yo. How about we put out five thousand of those uh those PlayStation Million systems that nobody got, but uh, all these uh executives mm -hmm. have 
Um, and I wanted that one. Like, if I was gonna get rid of my system, I definitely would have paid for that one. Mm -hmm. But I wanted the Spider Man, but then I thought about it. I said, I don't really play that thing that much anyway. But the Spider Man looks very cool. Mm -hmm. Can I have a a real system for the Xbox One X? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, but Mm -hmm. I really like a crackdown system where something nice, something snazzy. And LG, he's like, This thing is agreeing with me. He's like, Yeah, but King, wouldn't a custom console possibly catch the eye of someone who might be on the fence? That's all I was saying. Like, I was just like, I think they're thirty five dollars to catch that eye faster. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm just saying. Get off that fence. Well, the thing is that you know. But think about all these custom consoles and shout out this uh, singer in the chat. You know, like saying I'm with you on the way you're thinking. I really am. But the thing about it is it goes back to what King originally said when we talked about this. These are all limited edition. Even the Spider-Man, they're all limited edition. So even those few people that are going to change their minds to go and pick up that other one, is it worth it? Because from what we heard, you know, I had, uh, we had, what's his face there? Craig Duncan on MNC, oh, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. And shout out to Craig. Awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. But he said, you know, the, the, the money, time, and cost that goes into those in the planning, you know, yeah. they, they don't just slap like when Xbox does it, they don't yeah, just slap right. a sticker on it, right. right? So he go to get those one or two, maybe maybe few people, I shouldn't say one or two, mm-hmm. but maybe the 50, 100 people that weren't going to that are going to go do that. That's something I can't answer, but mm-hmm. I don't know if that really is dollar for dollar the amount of money they're putting into that custom concept gotcha. to get that, right? Saying. So, and then I don't think for us consumers, depending mm-hmm. on what it is, when you get something like a Spider Man or you get something like a Gears or a Halo, okay, something mm-hmm. like that, or maybe even an Uncharted, something where you have a ridiculously large abundance of followers mm. that are willing to pay over the market value later when it's not obtainable that's mm-hmm. when you have a value and i don't mm-hmm. think if you force horizon 4 listen i'm excited for force horizon 4 but i wouldn't give you more than what's on the shelf for that you know what i mean <laughs> like, I'm not, that's me right i'm not giving you any more than that you know we got to talk like you know okay. dollars for dollars but i do see what what stinger's saying and that yeah. may change people but i don't think it changes the corporate thought on how much money they got to spend no that, see yeah. now you're making the right point and and i, yeah. I do agree with you Mood. that that's a valid point they may just say hey like from that standpoint point it's not it's worth not, that yeah it's not yeah. feasible yeah. solve you got anything and we roll out i don't care about it you know i want <laughs> you think i don't care, I don't care I, about I, i'm with you like when I the s came out i got the white one i got the white one because that was the only one out at launch otherwise i would have mm-hmm. gotten a darker color so you know the last crazy console i got was a purple gamecube that's it right, cool <laughs> i'm up unless it's the last one this will be super isn't quick the per- isn't gamecube always purple no yeah, they came out with black one they came out with black one all right, this will be quick, y'all, because I know we're going over. This will be super quick. No, so and I just want you to notice how he titled it Nintendo is. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I just want to talk about what's going on in the industry right quick. <laughs> the hell with this topic. I think this topic can go straight to the bush. <laughs> I know you can. <laughs> so, obviously, Sob, since we all in agreement here with this topic, had to be done. Oh um, yeah, man. So obviously, you know the MPD. Oh, cool. Out. Let's move on. No, let's not. <laughs> Shout out to our good friend to the realm, Matt Piscatel. We've had a great. The MPD numbers have come out, and obviously, Nintendo has won the MPD best selling ho- hardware for July. Tremendous, tremendous what they're doing right now. He had a bunch of tweets as far as big month for them. And of course, Octopath Traveler, the best selling mm. game. So Nintendo took uh, top software publisher yes. on it. And as far as like accessories have grown up, you know, revenue from even Xbox has grown up. They even had the, um, the, I believe it was the white controller was like one of the top selling accessories, which I thought was very Ooh. interesting. Yeah, man. So it's just a good time for the industry. <laughs> you know what I'm that saying? Is and, um, just seeing the MPD numbers with the <laughs> top 10 stuff is pretty interesting. Obviously, Octopath at one, GTA 5, holy man. ish. <laughs> like, wow, right? Mm-hmm. Like, G- a5 is crazy and then i just thought that um also looking at the list as far as the top 10 we had like at least five switch games in there you got octopath you got mario kart you got zelda at five super mario mario. At seven and you got 10 is mario aces so i know mooch you talked about this actually on crawford i did listen this it's great segment you guys had on that and yeah. you made some funny points that i've got to get into but i want to start with a little bit of addict here because me and him have had oh, some God. uh this debate about the Nintendo Switch. And I just wanted to ask him one question. Obviously, the Octopath travel question, because I know we all know that MPD does not count digital sales. So to Lord I do you at least think this is impressive that Octopath Traveler Switch game, where only the physical sales were counted one the month? 
Look, man, this is what's going on. Okay. <laughs> people are buying it. Okay, oh, people. Are... These dudes is out here. They, yo, you, yo, 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 you just actually seen. sat there, and yo, you, that was a sneak, sneak move. Like I gotta yell out fraud on you because yo, you sat there, you laid it out very disgustingly for him, and you knew yo, he had to what? eat and swallow that pill. Yo, addict. Yo, addict. Do your thing. Do that. I don't care, yeah, Mr. Look, do that, do that. I'm just curious. Nintendo not having third. I'm just curious. Let's be real here. Nintendo, not having, third... here. Nintendo not having third parties. It, it's actually starting to help them out because okay. when people pick up that Switch every month, they're like, "Yo, these five games are the only things we're playing." <laughs> tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. I ain't got, I ain't got no choice but to eat the mashed potatoes because that's the only thing they got. <laughs> Get out of here. I get it. I, I, I get it. You know, King, my, my brother. Get it. Me, Paul. Get it. This is how a GameStop thing goes. Yeah, man, I'm going to get the Switch, man. Uh, I, I I really like the Division 2. Oh, about that. What, what about Destiny 2? About that. What about Red Dead? About that. What about Call of Duty? About that. Well, damn, what do they have? <laughs> we got that Zelda, though. For the record. Is this is not impressive? This is this is nothing. This is this no. Is they have five five of the positions mm -hmm. that was on top. Like mm -hmm. let's Zelda was out. Look, the beginning of last year. Like it's impressive. Yeah, Zelda's still selling out games that just came out. It's impressive. Mario Kart's still selling out games that just came out. It's impressive. You know, here's it's, here's the thing, addict, that you got to kind of bring up before I lose this, this this thought. You know, King said something earlier in the show where he goes, "If you're not first, you, you, you're just, you know, you're in, you're, mm -hmm. you're a loser, right? You, you mean your first loser. My yeah, point being though loser. is, here's something that's kind of, uh, it's hard to even put this in the words, <laughs> but we were saying this on Crossfire. Mm -hmm. The Switch is the must own second console. Yes. Now let me explain this to you. You're probably going, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. That means you've got Xbox fans and PlayStation fans alike, mm -hmm. both sides. So you've got the 80 million camp and the 40 million camp arguing over that whole thing. They won't got buy a, the other one, but they'll you buy got the 120 Switch. million people buying the Switch. So my whole thing is this, right? You've got both of them that'll buy the Switch. It's it's everybody's go to second. So right. you either hear PlayStation guys go, "I'm a PS4 and Switch owner," or you hear Xbox guy, "I'm Xbox yes. and Switch." But the Switch is always in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And now with time, that's mm -hmm. why I think you're seeing all of their titles, all their software, because mm -hmm. as people keep going and keep buying the Switch, mm -hmm. those games. The Mar listen to all of it. And listen, you guys always have a guest sign. You always ask all your guests, you know, what's the um, what's the games you guys have growing up? People yeah. are throwing Zelda at you left and oh, right. Yeah, okay? that's the number one by far. So whether you played Breath of the Wild, whether you loved it or you hated it, whether you played 15 minutes or 15 hours, mm -hmm. my point is that you bought it. Right. And that's the thing. Nintendo's got that nostalgia that they've wrapped us all up in. They put mm -hmm. a new sticker. And listen. I'm a sucker too. I love, I love some of those <laughs> games, right? But the mm -hmm. Nintendo Switch, mm -hmm. and let, let me tell you something. The Wii U got a bad rap, but I bought the Wii U day one too. Okay, yeah, so I bought the Switch too. day one. Mm -hmm. The only reason the Wii U was bad is because Nintendo stopped caring about the Wii U. Well, you know what it was? They 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 kind of went to the party and they were like, oh shit, somebody already brought the dip. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> was like, was like oh, yeah. right? Oh, they had <laughs> They're like, I gotta go back. So they didn't, they didn't, they were coming back to the party, but they had to go back and get the shit they needed, you know? Oh so God. they were like, well, you know, because they did the Wii U had a tablet that couldn't leave the couch. <laughs> oh, we man. just said we were doing that with the Game Gear in 1993. So the whole oh. point of the matter is they had to go back to the drawing board and they right. spit out a new console really quick and they did right. a good job with it. They did right. a hell of a job. Right. I like what the Switch is. The mm. Switch is not going nowhere. So when I see Nintendo right. wins NPD, mm -hmm. we're still uh, uh, on that Wii U hangover. Right. Once but you get over that Wii U hangover. This, though, I gotta, and this is this is the point of contention me yeah. and Attic had back then is I don't think enough credit is given to the fact that Switch digital sales are not counted. That's so, right. That that's why I feel the octopus. Yeah, like stop thing. banging that point, man. You're not a nice winner. You're not a nice winner. Like you don't win nice. You are you're a dirty <laughs> winner. Like you wanna <laughs> sit there and rub somebody's nose and you win. You the dirty winner. Get out of here. When it comes to the switch topic, all I'm tired of saying you won. We better be good. 
Do you think that you that's impressive? That's all stuff I said. On it, okay? Nobody buys stuff digital. It's not like that. I still stand wholly behind you that. You stand word. on the fact that it's not impressive that they're winning on just physical sales. Yo, why are you pounding this man to death like this? Yo, just... listen, listen. Okay, listen, 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 listen. You guys want? He, want, he wants me to bend his thing. Yeah, yeah, listen. Yo, yo, listen. Yo, want, he wants you. He yo, wants you to say my He wants to say my Yo, yo, he. <laughs> I just want Mate. him to concede Mate. so bad that, yo, they're doing this. this and they also doing it with one hand tied behind their back. Ah. Yes, like, right. yo, all right, I know. Make sure y'all know that. Make sure y'all know that. That's all I know. Listen, <laughs> you know, when I saw the MPDs come out, mm-hmm. I'm not in the corporate boardroom, but I hate when y'all MPDs come out and y'all winning. You know why? I and, I and this is this. I want y'all in on a little secret because I gotta hear this crap about yo. You know they're doing it with one hand, high behind their back. If they start counting those digital sales, you're dead. Like, they start counting them switch game sales, it might go up. <laughs> that's that's switch game Billy, Billy Rock. Rock. Yeah. Rock. That's me right now. I'm Billy Rock. Let me Billy Rock today. That's no, all. Get out, out of here. Throw it in the wash. That ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it alone. The last point, Thank and this is really funny. Um, Maya Mato's in the news, and this this is the very last thing, which I thought is a shout out to Saul for bringing this to did my Did he step down? Uh, <laughs> no, he did not step down. <laughs> but obviously, you know, you know, the Super Mario creator, the legend, and uh, he has some interesting things to say about what's going on with um like the free-to-play model, and he thinks that it's a mistake. He's shunning it. You know what I'm saying? He's saying it's ni- people are nickel and diming the gamers. And instead of that charging that upfront one-time fee, publishers are increasingly giving games away and selling them at discounted, discounted prices. And he's kind of saying that, like, that whole behavior mm. is something, like, he is completely, again, he feels that it stunts creativity and game making mm. and promotes his, quote, got this from Bloomberg, gambling-like behavior. So mm-hmm. and as a result, which resulted the uh, lawmakers in Belgium and, and then yeah. obviously to ban loot boxes. I'm gonna get this to Lomu. Who's like, mm. do we think Maya Mato's not in touch anymore? Because obviously we see stuff like Fortnite and how successful <laughs> this thing is. It's like yeah. a you know, revolution. I, just because something I don't think I don't think it's the right direction. I don't mm. think he's out of touch. I, I'll mm. be honest with you. He he's listen to what you just said right there. I like how you broke it down, Cognito, because. Mm-hmm. The when you look at it from a, a, a an artist or someone like himself that's been in the game since the beginning, mm-hmm. stop and think about this. Anybody that's listening right now, and anybody on the panel that has any of their kids playing Fortnite, right? Mm-hmm. Like every two hours, it could be two or three. Every two or three hours, the skins change, and you can buy them. And these things aren't five dollars. Yeah. Some of these things are $20. Yeah. And, you know, what he's saying is that instead of developing this game, Fortnite, which I have a blast playing with the family. I'm not going to hide that. I put that Absolutely. out there on my sleep. Right? I love the game. I do. I have a lot of fun with it. But realistically, we were playing that same map forever. So instead of, <laughs> yeah. right, instead of getting creative, these dudes are just coming out with, like, yeah, you point. know, like shark costumes. and like, <laughs> right. they, 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 they give you shark costumes, and we're going to put a meteor and just cha- slightly change the map. Right, and that's what Miyamoto is talking about. He's mm-hmm. saying instead of these guys being creative, they're mm-hmm. more worried about getting these, like, these, these costumes switched out to make mm-hmm. cash. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a business, but what I'm saying is when you have this many people and you're making this kind of money, that's a billion-dollar franchise that's at this point. You, you should have a team dedicated to making – they should mm-hmm. have the game, some a team dedicated to make the game better, and somebody making the skins. I like right it. now, and this is where he's going with. If every game, right, and now there's this rumor mm-hmm. that Battlefield Five, okay, yeah. is gonna have the Ring of Fire coming out. This Ring of Fire, which is a battle royale mode that's yes. gonna be free to play, and they're gonna do the same thing. Yeah. What, what you're gonna there lose, go. get it right. You're mm-hmm. going to lose people working on the Battlefield 5 game to work on making new skins and guns mm-hmm. and different helmets that you can wear during this, mm-hmm. right? And, 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 and the money's going to go up, but mm-hmm. the creativity is going to go down. And that's what he's saying. So mm-hmm. do I think that it's – here's the thing. If we just have the big boys that go and do that and they mm-hmm. want to branch out and have a team dedicated to making these types of free-to-play games, I say go for it. But what, right. what Mayamato is talking about, that's such a very – and pardon me if I'm saying his name wrong. I apologize. But no, the thing about it, thing. right – Right. Mm-hmm. And think about him, what he's saying that's correct mm-hmm. is like these teams that he's probably got working on his first party games in the Nintendo world, 
-hmm. They're not going to take the talent that is working on these games. And you see Octopath Traveler, which, you know, yeah. to King's point, he makes a funny point, but it is kicking ass and taking names. No, I'm playing. I got right? it. I got right? it. I'm it the game is good. But I'm saying, he can't take, you can't take people off that development to start making new skins and free to play games. These mm -hmm. people are utilizing every single pair of hands they have to make these great games. Right. So, realistically speaking, yeah. I myself, I, I don't go as far as some of these things you see on Twitter where people go off the deep end. And they're like, oh, my God, gaming's going to end. It's all going to be like a we're going to have 55 <laughs> different versions of Fortnite. Right. No, but at the same time, you do have to say as a consumer that it would be nice if we could just pay the $60 and get the skins versus mm -hmm. every two hours. I got my son tap me on the shoulder being like, look, look, I thought that shark one was cool. But now now I can be like this old retro dude that looks like this. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, where does it end? These are twenty dollars a pop. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Good These point. No, so, val val valid point, man. It is a concern. It's something yeah. to talk about for sure. Absolutely. I want to give it back to uh, give Sov in here. Sov, what do you think about this? You think because yeah, you don't want to put this to my attention. You feel he's off, or do you feel he's doing something? I, I don't think he's off. I, th I just think he his, his what he's saying is absolutely correct. I think mm -hmm. when you're when you're put in a position where you have to develop a game and you're constantly having to update it and having to add stuff to it in, in order to keep people engaged, mm -hmm. there's no creativity there. It's just a matter of like, how right. fast can we get this content out there? And mm -hmm. what he wants to do, I think the mistake they made, let's say with Super Mario Run, right? I think that that onboarding price of $10 up front, I think was too high. I think they need to try, try to make their games. If they want to make one flat rate mm -hmm. up front for a game, that's perfect. I think that's what he wants to continue to do because mm -hmm. I think he feels at that point they're developing, they have a vision for the game. They're mm -hmm. releasing the game and when it comes out, that's the game. Mm -hmm. And I just think the price point for people who are, who are used to purchasing things on mobile uh, platforms, they're right. used to paying a lot less for it. Like right mm -hmm. now, I'm playing a game. I don't never play mobile games. I'm playing a game that's like a. It's called Hold Down, and it's mm -hmm. like it's kind, of, it's kind of like a like a brick breaker type game, right? Mm -hmm. I paid four bucks for that game, mm -hmm. and I've been blazing this game. And mm -hmm. it's four bucks. I paid four bucks up front, and I never have to yeah, pay. You see that? He's blazing that game, but he's not blazing Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. But it, this is what I mean. I think this is, and I think he's right in that respect. I think, and, and his thing is, he doesn't care. If right. the other model is making more money, he says, we're going to keep doing this until right. it's entrenched, until they, they have to swallow this. Right. And then we're going to make money that way because naturally we're going to make money that way. I think the mistake they did make with Mario Run, I think it was too expensive up, up front. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and I think moving forward, they're going to rectify that. Um, no. Another interesting thing that he said is that he sort of said, you know what, we have to learn how to play nice with subscription mm -hmm. models. I think he sort of gave a big up to, to Game Pass and what they're trying to do. And he says... I don't know what they plan to do for Nintendo in the future. If Nintendo but I, does a Game Pass, I'm in. I'm all in. Like, yeah, it's I'm one in. of those things. They will he, never do a Game Pass. Let that go. They, said, these dudes will keep said. dropping out those. This is the same uh, dude. And listen, I'm going to say this in a very nice manner mm -hmm. to this man because he is the godfather of mm -hmm. of this industry and as far as creativity goes if he's mm -hmm. out of touch he is completely out of touch because he's working for the same company that would throw out minis every mm -hmm. other month and, and try to dominate <laughs> <MPs> <laughs> so, so i want you to stop with your fraud in my model because oh you're fraud right now just because somebody's uh model is successful and your game yeah, is not as that. successful you're looking over uh -oh. and you're saying man i wish i would have charged for those hats and now, now, King, go say that. He's getting these sales with one hand tied behind his back. They're not counting them digitals. They're not counting them digital. Listen, I'm tired of these dudes looking at something else as being successful. Yes, put. I don't care. Put Battle Royale and everything. You don't have to play it. It's just up to you. That's right. But well, you know what's put funny? Mario Battle Royale. Oh, Maybe gonna... the game will sell better. Because I, I don't see the game. Five, you know, I Zelda, I Zelda busting you upside the head. Now, listen, I ain't finished Mario yet. Listen, work on your creativity because uh, you was off this one. This one was off. <laughs> we got to finish this up. Mooch, uh, Attic, and let's get out of here. I yeah. want to bring up that, you know, it's easy to just say something when you don't have the hot title that he could do. If he had, like, you know, something that he could have done that was like this kind of style. That well, he's what, like King said, what if, what if there was like a, a all of Nintendo, like how they got a Smash? What if they did a, a, a Battle Royale with all Smash characters? It never happened. I would be lit. People but I, I think what it is, yeah, we'll buy it. Like, if, if, if your company's 100% against this, Fortnite wouldn't be on the Switch. Mm. So it, it's okay yeah. to be it's okay to not be it's okay to be against it 
when you don't have it. But it's okay <laughs> to invite the best friend across the pond to the to the. To the uh, What's what I'm looking for? You're gonna I'll invite him you to the cookout yeah. because he got all the hot dogs. Like that's, okay. that's right. Dogs. You bring the yeah. chicken wing guy over, but you're gonna complain about people eating chicken wings. Get out of here. <laughs> right. Right. But I, think, up. I mean, but, but the, the main stuff he was talking about wasn't so much for the Switch and for like the home console. What mm. he was talking about mostly was the mobile market, right? Right. And yeah. it, it, the mobile market and like the microtransactions are to make money. Are straight right. up to make money, and right. a lot of times it's you need to pay to play. Like it's right. it's a thing where you're that's moving right. towards the game and you're paying. Whereas like Fortnite, that's all cosmetic stuff. Like he's right. listen. I I doubt very much he has a problem with making you know money off of skins yeah. or whatnot. As long as people have fun with the game, yeah. uh, the, the mobile model is different. You know what I mean? I, and I, I think, think that's Nintendo, what he wants to do. I think yeah. Nintendo in general, they and, and there's no denying that you know regardless how you feel about their games, there's a reason. The five of them consistently stay in the top five. They know how to make games without none of that nonsense. Mm. So, enough, you know, yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like his statement it mm. wasn't greed. It wasn't nothing like that. It wasn't envy. It wasn't jealousy. It was mm. just, I ain't got that yet. So I don't want that. Mm. I, I, I don't really care for that kind of playing stuff. How many mm. of these devs do you think work on Fortnite that's probably said one point of time, private or public? That they're they that they don't like nickel and diamond people, but the moment they yeah. see that paycheck, they're like, "Yo, what else can we do?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nickel them, uh, nickel them. We got some bad news in the world, Lord. We gotta say, shout out to relevant native, shout out to NLG. Apparently, there was a Madden tournament shooting just now. Five Jeez. dead, eleven yeah. injured. Shooter was killed by police, and apparently he was a contestant that was eliminated in the tournament. So I guess he came back up in there. So rest in peace to all the people who lost yeah. their lives foolishly in well, this. Was this whole apparently in Florida, Florida. just recently. Jeez. So. That, that's that's ridiculous. We yeah, we gonna end it, but we're gonna end it on some positive. So let's yeah, yeah. get to the poll and then get uh Mooch out of here. All right, new poll with the rumored Xbox monthly subscription service, including the console, Xbox Live, and Game Pass, soon to be announced by Microsoft. Do you think this can negatively affect gamers? The choices are a yes, targets young gamers, bad credit and financial debt. <laughs> B no pro consumer friendly option. Or our favorite C, I don't care. What about them exclusives, though? <laughs> <laughs> that could be that's in every poll, right? Every yeah, yeah. Some, some weird old stuff a, for a Sony base. <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. Those are the choices. Please rock the ILP poll when it comes on Twitter tomorrow. Lord Mooch, yes, an absolute Yo. pleasure. Outstanding, man. Around. So much fun. Stories for days. Where can the fine people find you and what do you have cooking up? Let me say first and foremost, thank you to the Lords for having me to the round table. It is an honor to be here. You know, uh, way too long. We, we should have done it years ago, to be honest yes, with you. Absolutely. And you know what, though? It don't it don't matter. We got years left in us. So we're going to do this. Uh, can't wait to bring you to the realm of Crossfire. You got some of you guys have been there, but the ones that haven't need to come on. Yes. We will make sure that happens. So first and foremost, let me say thank you again to everybody here and the Pleasure. chat. Outstanding chat. That chat was on fire that today, was too. So nice. thank you to all you guys for doing that. Where you can find me is, of course, the Mooch 78 on YouTube. Woo. We've got Crossfire, 7 p.m. Eastern time, Damn. Friday nights. That's how you start your game and weekend with right. us on Crossfire. And then you got MNC Evenings on Thursdays, <clears throat> which is partially on my channel as well, 7 p.m. <clears throat> And uh, we will have a we're doing a huge guess that Metacritic. It's this oh. Thursday. You gotta come and check got? it out. You play, you call it when we play the theme, you get that <laughs> Spider-Man guess that Metacritic. Oh, the closest right. the winner gets the game. Woo. So oh, I gotta be, do that. We doing three call. We've been doing three callers a week for the past three weeks. This will be the last week, so we'll have okay. about. I think it's going to have a total of uh twelve uh, contestants, and then okay. whoever's the winner gets the game. It's that we'll simple. Try, so check it out. That man. Number in the chat, always. man. Let our chat get an opportunity we'll to do. get this game. Yeah, I, I, I want it on this too because I'm gonna say seventy two. <laughs> <Right? laughs> I'm gonna say seventy two. No, no, no. Well, I'm not gonna win it. That's not gonna, that gonna, gonna be the one like out. My, out <laughs> You know there's too many Spider-Man fans in the media to go 72. I bet people coming in, calling in with 96, 98, 99. said, so you got to calm down. Stop calling in while you're looking at your Spider-Man tattoo. That don't count. <laughs> you know, realistically, I think mid-80s is a legit number. I, I think, think 87 is what it's going to get. Yeah, I, I went with 86 the last time the Mets did anything relevant. There you go. 86, baby. I'm going to go with 91. Just like, like, yeah, just like John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, I'm going with 91. I played the game, so I know what the game is. The feminine segment between Addict and King is still in effect. 
Remember? Oh yeah, there it, it is. is. Yeah. Oh, he definitely yeah. wants that now. I feel oh, like I, well, I really would love for you to bend your knees. But, <laughs> all right, so let's let it happen. Wow, Fair Fair enough. Let's go. Man. Absolute pleasure, man. Long overdue. Thank Treat you very much. Yes, delivered. sir. It's all about unity. It's all about gaming, having That's fun, right, and we prove totally without a shadow it. of doubt that. Our realms can make that happen. Yes. Very proud of numbers you. prove that. You see the numbers, you exactly. see the engagement. People the people are still engaging. The the day, That's what I'm talking about. We okay. all listen to each other. We yes. all are gamers. We all have our different opinions, but this is the common thread. Thank you once again. Thank you all. Lord, too. you already know, man. Lord Addict, what you got going on? Where can I find people find you? I ain't doing nothing but getting this <laughs> dumb stuff on Destiny done. <laughs> so, so the yeah. heroes, baby. My bad. Get it. Get now, it. Anything projects coming on? Any little videos? Any little previews we might be getting? Why you not playing Destiny? Well, I'm doing a, a video probably be out tomorrow on a uh, all access, but that's all. The the okay. rest is dedicated to Destiny because mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and be told I can't enter the room to play the raid because I ain't high enough. Yeah, or I ain't enough. tall enough. That's not happening. <laughs> Fair tell enough. Him, tell him, tell him, you ain't big enough to ride this roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, uh, sub, where can the people not find you playing offline and not playing Destiny? Uh, you uh, might find me playing Destiny, maybe. <laughs> Let's see how I feel. Let's see how you feel. Oh, that yeah, you, you'll definitely find me playing the messenger on Thursday. Pick Woo! up the messenger, whatever platform you're playing on, yes, pick up the messenger on Thursday. A, yes, beautiful game. Spiritual Ninja Gaiden successor. Bet with those devs out in PAX East. Fantastic, fantastic game. Better be playing remember, Dandora, remember that's what probably better you better be playing. Try to do the uh, inter uh, <laughs> the meeting like a day before you had it scheduled. Try yes, to roll over like, there and nah. get it done. <laughs> yeah, I was out of control. I was a little thirsty for that one. That was good. That's what's up. So, Lord King, where can I find people find you? Uh, what you got going on? You, 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 you can find me on Xbox. You can find me on Twitter actually getting bombarded by these fearful PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my like a dude with glue. Yo, I just want to say uh shout out to Mooch. Uh love the voice. I I, I listen. I, I listen to crap all the time. I really love his stuff. I listen to the podcast when I get a chance. And the fact that you're here and the numbers is still at 70 watching and the likes. You have some people that hit the, 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 yeah. the negative button. And for those people, I know for you even to sit here and to put a negative, yeah, you still like the show. And yeah, right. Inside you is burning that the world didn't blow up when you looked outside the window. All they right? didn't think it was possible. They, they told yeah, us not right? to. Look, they uh, I, I, you know what? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get the BS and I, I never will because at the end of the day, he's going to go pick up a controller just like I am. We're going to go yes, do sir. the same thing. We're going to game. Facts. But listen, uh, y'all guys are getting this thing weirded and mixed up. Mm -hmm. That Instagram is not my Instagram. All right, let me let me let's just let you know this right now. So don't think that you putting messages to me because I'm not looking at them. Don't think you 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 know you commenting on pictures and ha ha. I'm I don't care. That is an IOP public page that four people have access to. That four people put pictures in. That four people could put add people to. I don't add people. I don't know who half of you are. So <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Get to that part right there. So I don't want to be. I don't want to, to get it misconstrued that you guys think it's us, King's page. It is not my page. <laughs> it is the King's page. All right. The same thing. If y'all understood about the Facebook. Now, if you want to individually interact with any one of us, we all have Twitter. Mm -hmm. If you go to the ILP Twitter page, we are all there, and you can click on us and talk to us. But if you think you're doing it in Instagram, talking to me. I don't hear you. All right. So just leave me alone there and, and look at the pictures. That's what Instagram is for. No doubt. No. Shout kid. out to our Instagram. Go ahead and follow that. Follow us on Instagram after that. Yeah, go Shout follow us there, but don't try to interact with me there. I'm not there. But follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. Lord, it's a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. We got so much cooking up, a lot of stuff, some more special things, hopefully, in the work for September. I don't want to blow the lid off that. Again, thank you so much. Hit the like and subscribe to um, the Inner Circle Network, all the media outlets. Tick was last night. Multiverse is up again. Double XP, the whole gang. Um, also, Lord Kaibatsu will have the timestamps up in the description for the audio later tonight. I want to shout out the stream team, Lord Sonaldo, you know what I'm saying? Super G, Osu, Scout, Lady L. 
Oogie. We got some more things cooking up. A new signee, Lord Nick Tendo Direct will be hopefully Ooh. soon. We, we're getting the paperwork done. We're getting the signing going. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to have some stuff cooking up with him. And of course, for my Destiny lovers, on the ILP channel, Flashpoint 28 with Ebontis was up. Fantastic. You're getting ready for Forsaken. If you're getting hype, if you want to come back, please, this is the time to check it out. And of course, thank you to all the patrons. We really appreciate it. We're trying to continue to bring good content. I know we went long, Lord. Shout out to Jonathan B. Said this was the longest <laughs> intro of ILP ever. You are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to get out of here. Everyone, enjoy their Sunday. Anybody got anything else? You good? Lords are good? All right, let's get out of here, man. Thank Peace. you, everybody. Thank you, Mooch. All right.